What up? What up, Juggalos? How y'all doing tonight? It's your homeboy Rudy right here holding it down with my homies, of course. The one and only Jump Steady, KG, Kevin Gill. And we have a slew of people in the studio tonight. Of course, we've got the Creeper in the house. Mr. Keegan is holding it down with us. Hey, hey, how's everyone doing? We've got the one and only. What I'm, I'm telling you, this guy is a game master. He is a guy who is uh, just creating games left and right with my homie Jump Steady. Of course, I'm talking about... Lewis Simpson is in the house. Good evening, family. How y'all doing tonight? Uh, to my left, my direct left, is my partner in crime, silent but deadly, the one and only DJ Carlito. Yo, what's good, family? And, of course, t directly to my right is uh, my sister from another mister. <laughs> um, she is uh, she's someone who I've known a long time, who I've, I, I love dearly. And um, she is also... Somebody who helped coordinate uh, this year's uh, DCG Con. Of course, I'm talking about the one and only Rachel Paul. What it is. Woo woo. All right. So anyways, tonight, like uh, we've been saying all over social media and, and hyping up tonight's program, we are going to be giving you the lowdown, the rundown, if you will, the good, the bad, and the beauty of the DCG Con. And later on in the show, we are throwing down with those demo jams jump steady that's right yeah. we got we got two spots left uh to 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 become finalists uh to for your chance to win a spot at this year's gathering on the juggalos I, a nighttime stage spot mm -hmm. on the pendulum stage at night two tickets to the gathering that's going down at night but uh first of all we want to cover everything that happened at the dark carnival games con because uh, as you mentioned, the good and the bad, it is it is an event that you will never forget. You know That's what I mean? so true. You will exactly. never yeah. forget yeah. this event. And how, come all the, how come all the weird shit happened on the West Coast? Right. <laughs> right? I don't know. Over here, it just, everything just right. smooth, right. man. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, not to be a stickler for geography, but Colorado ain't on the West Coast. <laughs> well, it's, it's closer than we are. Right. That's for damn sure. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's kind of like a uh, it's like a dream that we're already back. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I know. yeah. And and for 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 me particularly and Rachel, like we drove all the way down there with the budget truck, fucking load everything up. Uh, all the ninjas on tour, the semi truck. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it was it was a long two weeks. Uh, you know, organizing and putting the whole thing together down there on, on site. Uh, you know, everything that we prepared for for the last. I want to say six months straight work. Easily. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Easily. Like uh, working on that and the gathering at the same time uh, was no, uh, you know, was a difficult feat to to achieve. But, um, you know, we put a lot of love and no expense spared, as right. you can see. Right. Like, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, we had a crew of uh, awesome It was an ninjas. army. Yeah, yes. yeah. Right. Yes. Army of yeah. ninjas. Yeah, yes, we definitely. had a crew of fresh ninjas that help, help, helped us set everything up. Um, you know, we had it was ambitious. You know, we had the casino this year. Ooh, we had the video, don't I know. We had the video game <laughs> room this year. We had the inflatable games, yes. uh, full arcade. You know, uh, you know, we had all, of course, the Quest for Shangri La uh, into the Echo Side tournament areas were popping the, the the games library with video games playing in yes. that area as well. Oh yeah, the movie yep. tent, fucking uh, the art gallery, Morton's uh, Lounge. Yeah, the Morton's huh? Lounge with all with yeah. those ninjas. Those ninjas are super fresh. Everybody came together to fucking put this thing on. It wasn't just us. It was a, it, it, it was a family effort. You know what I'm saying? Right. For Juggalos, by Juggalos, <clears throat> to the fullest. Uh, we set everything up, man. And when the doors open, it was fucking awesome. It was yeah. magical. It, it was really so, was. Yeah. It, 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 and the intent was there. Like, the vision was there. And it all came together so fucking wonderfully. It's true. The, the hall was awesome looking. You know what I mean? Yeah. And everybody just dived into their fucking games and their events, <laughs> what they loved. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Uh, behind the scenes, there was a little bit of turbulence, you know what I mean, from the uh, from the Crown Plaza a little bit, but not too bad. Like there, were, there was a couple people that were like they didn't know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> right. you know what I mean? Oh, they weren't ready. So the, they suit, weren't ready. the suits were coming down. Now, now the the non suits they were awesome. Like the right. the, the workers, you know right. what I'm saying? They're, yes. The pe the crews, you know, that was setting up the tables. And all all them motherfuckers are awesome. I, I had yeah. so many uh, employees at the Crown Plaza that um, were were. Going above and beyond to help people sure, out, yeah, to direct right, them in no the right doubt. directions, right, and, right. And, 
and, and everything like that. So and you know, you know, like in a cordial, professional way, like not yelling at people and shit. Yep. Exactly. Even even when like chaos broke out, mm-hmm. it was uh, the uh, and I can I can only speak for the people that I encountered, uh, and I watched uh, the employees of the Crown Plaza who were very respectable, very cool to the juggalos. And saying, hey, look, you know, we're going yeah. outside. This ain't, yeah. you know, this is blocked off or whatever the case may be. Right. Um, so because uh, I, I did hear a juggalo. I, I was on a, um, I was on a um, uh, uh, elevator. But I, my only complaint, only one fucking elevator working. <laughs> yes. Right. And the whole fucking yeah. building. And, and that, no attempt to repair it. Right. right. That a happened, half hour of waiting to go right. up. Yes. That happened yeah. right as the con started because they were both working uh, hmm. before that. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, wow. So, yeah. so anyways, though, and, and there was a, you know, there was a juggalo and he was like, you know what? You, we definitely got to give these guys a bad review on Yelp. And I was like, why? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's why? actually, yeah. you know, beside yep. this this fuck up yeah. of the elevator, I think it's pretty damn cool. Yeah. I mean, the, the hotel was, was when you walk in there and you see that yeah. waterfall right. shit. Yeah, yeah. Right. I was like, am I in the right spot? Right, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And there's yep. just like mad tables set up. Everybody's yep. gaming. Everybody's having a great yes. time. Yeah. This is even before the con kicked yeah, off. In, yeah. in the atrium. You know, in the atrium area. Yeah. It's right. huge. Huge fucking lobby with a restaurant bar, fucking waterfall flowing, fucking huge ass <laughs> lights overhead, <laughs> and and motherfuckers underneath playing fucking into the echo side yeah. and shit. Like, yep. you know what I mean? It's just fucking lovely to see, man. Yeah. First yeah. thing I did is broke my game out. Yeah, got they, one in for sure. No one waited yeah. though Friday, man. It was right. going down. <laughs> right. No one waited. Uh, so you know, and and you know, like the Crown Plaza overall, well, they were awesome. There was a couple knuckleheads, you know. Yep. Uh, that we were dealing with just on our side. Nobody's seen it. But, like, we smoothed everything out. And in the end, we were on the same page. You know, they, sure. it was just all new to them. They, they just didn't really know what to expect. Sure. You know? um, of course, we had the concert hall set up right next door, which was which was amazing. And then, man, the doors open. Everybody came in. That's great. And they just, like, they rushed the merch area man. first, of yeah, course. Because yeah, uh, the Oracle of the Three Rings is out for the first time. You get it. You get the promo card and all that, and that that was going awesome. And then and then, bam! Everybody just kind of dispersed to their different gaming events and everything they wanted to get into. And like, I, I got the opportunity, and and you know, I want I want everybody to share their moments or whatever. Yeah. But I, I got an opportunity to walk through the hall at least like five times. You know what I mean? I, I was like busy doing shit too, but like walking through the hall and just hearing the excitement. Yeah, yes. the pops yeah. at every fucking <laughs> area. Yeah. The Texas Hold'em. Yep. <sighs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Quest was trying to go Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. You know what I mean? Into the echo side, just everybody, just serious warriors sitting at the table, yeah. just so into it, you know? And I was like, I was loving every moment of it, you know yeah. what I'm saying, as I was walking around. And, and, and the casino, that was the thing. I didn't know how that well the casino up, was going to do, but I, every time I walked by there, packed with ninjas yeah. around the fucking roulette table done done by the uh, ghetto rollers uh, yep. juggalo jesse and his ghetto rollers crew mm-hmm. they fucking handmade uh, uh uh the the uh fresh ass craps table well, i didn't know that table. it was yeah. dope i didn't know yeah. that no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. no now the uh the the dealers were real yeah the like, dealers yeah. were real okay, so <laughs> so what legit. it was was a, it was a combination of the ghetto rollers and then real ass dealers casino dealers That's that we brought so in dope. so they were just straight up professional dressed all in the cowboy hookups and shit uh-huh. sitting at the table they were running fucking the uh the 21 the poker table uh, the roulette and all that, yeah. and, uh, and the yeah, craps, and, and the craps, and everybody was just popping in there. There was the uh, the cage where you know. Anyway, oh, it was man. it was yeah. just fucking dope as fuck. And man. all the lights and, and decorations, yeah, and everything. By Trish yeah, Shaw. so like insane. Yeah, like like Trish Shaw is really like our uh, like. You know, our partner in yeah like you know she's like the unsung hero if you will she she created all the signage you know all the stand-ups that you see at the con all the badges she's Everything. putting in yeah she puts in a lot of work we got mad love for her and she's yeah, not so respect. bad on the eyes either no she's a, she's a <laughs> goddess hey. I, no, said it. No, you, you, I said it no i said it shit I'm a, I'm a heterosexual man <laughs> right. i feel you rudy and when i see something fine damn it right. i call it yeah no she's a goddess like <laughs> shit. Like she, KG, she she is like she's like an angel on earth. She is yeah. an angel. We love you, Trish. You know, like, angel, an earth angel. Uh-huh. There you go. There yeah. you go. Uh, Trish, Earth Angel Shaw. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, she freaked it. Thank you. 
Thank you, Trish, for schooling yeah. us. So yeah. Yeah. Especially the, the the video so, game setup was yeah. unbelievable yeah. for yeah. me. Yeah. Okay, yeah. all those Mario things. Those that were was cool. A, that was insane. Me as a diehard Mario Nintendo fan, like I seen that, and I've seen it. I've been to a lot of events, man. The way she had that set up was I, I actually went to Party City and spent two hundred dollars for my Nintendo thing. I, I would have taken it all back and just had her do this shit if I would have known it was going to turn out like that. And I felt so bad at yeah. the end because I was trying to take it apart. And she says, look, you can't take it apart no. and save it. You just have to destroy it. No, I'm like, how no. can you destroy this? She's like, you have to. Yeah. Yeah. So I would have paid for that shit. Yeah. So what they're talking about is there was an archway. Yep. The archways above the yes. video game room and also the casino area. There was an archway made out of like car. It was like a cardboard display. Yeah. But it was just it, it just brought everything. To I life. felt like I was yeah. in Mario. Yeah. 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 Coins, right. I couldn't yeah. believe it, man. Yeah. So, uh, so anyway, I walked around. One of the highlights actually was, uh, and I, I told you about this, Keegan, is yeah. when, when you were running the, uh, it was Juggalo Catch 21. Sure, yeah. And I just sat for like five minutes and watched it. And right. I was like, man, this is so dope. The, the contestants were so into it. Yeah. And there was like one, this one guy had his like daughter up there. And at one point you were like, yeah. You, they, they were interacting with uh, the, his other daughter. There was yeah. in the crowd, and you were like, "Come on up here! It's a family affair." <laughs> like, yeah, Get on up yeah. Here. yeah. Stop. And, and she then, came up there, and it was just like, and the, they end up winning. Yeah, they that, end up winning right. the actual event. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, and, and just the uh, the witty repertoire, if you will, like how you were interacting and keeping it lively. Yeah. And uh, and your girl Emily was up yeah. there looking yep. fine as hell. Yep, like, yep. Doing yep. the card thing. Yep. And uh, and it was just it was just awesome, man. No, I was like, we have we have a lot of fun, man. And that's something. You fuck you. You guys rolled the dice on me running a lot of these game shows, man. And mm. to me, I love. I, it's fun up there. I get to improv. You know, it's totally different than just doing stand up. I get to have fun with people. Yeah, man. And when I seen that little girl, you know, you had the dad up there, and you had the one his one daughter up there, and they were playing. And this girl was riding the trike around for a little bit. Yeah. And then she came in to check out. And I could see she wanted to get up there, but they didn't want to interrupt. I'm like, nah, you know, come on up here. We've all been that kid before. You know, you oh, want yeah. to be next to mom or dad or your siblings. So she went up there. The energy amped up in that room, and they end up taking home the gold. So it was crazy right, how it worked right. out. That's so that's so yeah. dope. But it was so animated. It just looked like it was some TV shit. Yeah, we were having fun. Like, it looked like it was we're like. having fun. Yeah, like this yeah. was being televised or whatever. Yeah. The energy was like yep. to that level. This doesn't was, work. To me, this doesn't work, man. We were out there yeah. having a blast, you exactly. know. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. cool. Go ahead and keep his check. Right. <laughs> 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 that's right. <laughs> All right, what but anyway, <laughs> yeah, everywhere I went, it was just popping, and I, I fucking, yeah. I, I loved it, you know, and, and, and seeing, like, um, uh, Joey and to, to, Toots, Toots, Toots running, yeah. their, uh, running their Munchkin tournament. Which was like, an official I seen tournament. That, right, I seen that, and I was like, oh, this is awesome. I seen it as I was going by, like, as it was being ran. I saw the Talesman tournament running. Uh, oh, one like of the other Camp times. Fruit Loop? Yeah, one mm-hmm. of the other times I came walk, came by. So it, it was cool seeing everybody running what they love, the yeah. games that they love. Yeah. It was just it was just working so perfectly, you know what I'm saying? Yep. And then and then the word around the con was, man, this is I don't know how y'all did it. This is better than last year. That's yeah. what I kept hearing <laughs> yeah, yeah. from them. Just like I yeah. can't believe it, you know. But this is this is doper. Like the setup, everything was yep. super hype. So stoked to be here. Uh, and it was going beautifully, man, for for for, for a while. <laughs> but, but, for, 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 for about six hours. Yeah. Right? <laughs> real, uh, real quick, before we get too far, I, I just want to uh, tell one story, quick story here. When I got there Thursday, and we got there early, and I was uh, uh, you know hanging out with Tom Wood uh, a little bit for for when we got there. We went and got breakfast, and we went back, and he um, he asked if we could help set up uh, his booth a little bit, get it ready, you know? That's right. And I haven't been to the convention or any, I haven't seen anything yet, nothing. So I was like, all right, we're going to go to our room. We're going to get changed and we'll come down there. So I come down there and I'm knocking on the door and this chick opens the door and she's like, hey, Rob, it's Keegan. Is he allowed in? <laughs> and he was like, fuck no, nobody's allowed in. And I was like, I was like, T- tell her it's like, it's, it's Keegan, Keegan. And he comes to the door and he was like, you were covered in sweat. Your hair is a mess. <laughs> You were like, what do you want? And I was like, I'm just here to help Tom. You know, Tom wants a little. He was like, Tom's fine, man. He was like, look. He was like, I want there to be magic when everybody walks in. Yes. He was like, I want everybody to be surprised. Right. And, and when, at that moment, I was like, oh, man, like I, I totally respected that. And, I'm, yeah. and I told you the next day, I'm like, thank God you did because I right. wanted that too, you know? Yeah, I had no idea what you were going to do. Damn, Carlito, they didn't stop yeah. us from fucking. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> carrying all those boxes and shit. The, uh, Natalie, the ring girl, came in and she goes, "I'm gonna go see Rob." I go, "No, you're not. He's uh, not letting anybody in." Look, so this is this is yeah. what happened. Like, I got in. Obviously, <laughs> yes. obviously, as we're putting on the con, <laughs> as we're setting up, yeah. everybody wants to come. Of in course, yeah. And get the sneak peek, uh-huh. you know. And, and I told, I told, like me and Rachel discussed this in depth. Like, no, just the core group that's working, keep everybody out. And that's what we tried to do because we want everybody to come yeah. in when it's totally 100% set up yeah. and your yeah. wig to get flipped. And you get the surprise. Because if you, if, you, yeah, if you see behind the scenes, like, yeah. you know, it's, it's not glamorous. No, it's not going to be as fresh. <laughs> no, when no, you, I know. You come in and get the full. My whole back, thing you know? is, hey, I'm, I'm part of the team. I just want to yeah, help out when I can. But you I'm are, so, man. You're like, definitely it, part of the it, team. It meant a lot for you to, to say that to me, though, and yeah. be like, you wanted me to be surprised. Yeah, yeah. As yeah, well, because yeah. I went, like, I went up, out there, tomorrow, and I yeah. looked at M, and I'm, I'm talking to a couple of jugglers out there, and I'm like, I think I just got yelled at by Rob. <laughs> no, <laughs> I was no, like, no. I don't know how I feel right now. Like I'm a little hurt, no, but man, you know, no, no, I understood. No. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I was just like, when I walked in there, and you were 100 percent right, man. I wasn't ready for the video game ten, and that was my first event. Mm. And I'm like, come on, bro. This is the this is the dopest shit I've ever seen. Seeing right. all level the Tom 20. Wood on banners, level and yeah. everyone ready yeah. in full outfits. Like, let's do this. Yeah. There's no hiccups, man. Yeah. It was well. There, there was again. There was no expense spared. You know, yeah. like there was there was a lot of moments when when me and Rachel were like, oh, yeah. okay, let's look at the budget. Mm-hmm. We got to worry about the budget. And then I was like, man, fuck the budget. Yeah. <laughs> let's just fucking go yeah. all out. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I don't give a fuck. Let's, let's, let's just do it. Like, do it up big. And, and no amount of front. effort spared on the behalf yeah. of all the jugglers that put up all those banners, yeah, all the no artwork doubt, yeah. they made, just I, everything. You guys yeah. did it on a skeleton crew, too. And yeah. and that's what, for me, it, it hurt because I, I knew you guys were working your asses off. Yeah. And it, you guys need a break, man. I mean, I was right. telling everybody, I go, Rob, anybody that knows Rob and knows you and the amount of work that was put in, you guys, there was no rest, even on days off. Right. We were hanging out, you know, playing games till three, four in the morning, talking about ideas yeah. for, way before that. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, I, I, for us, I know you wanted us to enjoy it, but but on on our on our half, like all of us wanted you guys to enjoy it. Yeah, you I'm know what I'm you. saying? Like, take a break, man. You guys fucking earned it. Never. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like that's just how I felt, man. <laughs> I'm at notice. You know, people well, then don't do take know, a Rob. break. Right. <laughs> Rob is <laughs> harder. Rob is not I'll happy. Be he won't, he's not going to listen to what I'm saying. And I'm just, yeah. <laughs> I mean, everybody yeah. knows Rob is not happy unless yeah. he's busting his exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's Rob, he's Exactly. It's true. He's always been that way. Yeah. Yeah. If 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 it does, if it's not bigger and bigger and bigger, yeah. then it's not right. Yeah. Exactly. And yeah. that's one of the things right. I love about him, man. We used yep. to do that when we go to Comic Cons. Yeah. Our shit would be right. You, you blow walk everybody in, out blow the window. Blow everybody. Yeah, everybody wow. out the fuck, box. Fuck, everybody else. Fucking and no matter uh, what boot they had. Seriously, our boots yeah. schooled the it fuck would, out. It would be like fucking. Yeah. It would be like um uh yeah. what's that guy uh Kevin Smith and, and Jay and Silent Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. They have their booth next to ours, and our shit would just smoke. kill theirs. <laughs> smoke. Kill theirs, and it'd be just me and Rob there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, I want to take a moment to kind of go around the table and get everybody's, like, favorite moment or moments uh, they had at the con during that day one. Uh-huh. Uh, for me, it was definitely seeing you, Keegan, schooling on wow. stage. Like, I that fucking, means a lot, man. I mean, it just was yeah. like how into it the yeah. contestants were and, yeah. and how witty, yep. you know what I mean, your, 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 your banter, if you will, uh, up on stage. I was yeah. just like, this is fucking great. Right. Like, this is fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it, was a, it was a nice crowd watching and everybody's yep. laughing. It was a packed. It was packed. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so Catch 21 doesn't usually do as good as Family Feud, but I think right. now that we've done it a few times, people are hit. It's catching on. And I mean, how can you go wrong? Trivia yeah, and, 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 and blackjack. blackjack. I mean, I don't play cards, but <laughs> I know blackjack. But that, honestly, right, honest right. to God, for you, of all people who, who put this together and seen every event, for, to hear you say that, man, that that, that speaks that, that I don't know what to say. Honest to God, I don't know what to say. So I'm just glad that that you enjoyed it as well as hopefully a lot of others. Yeah, right. No yeah. Doubt. All right, uh, Lewis, you you wanna you wanna start? Uh, I hate to be biased, but of course, my favorite time was standing <laughs> over at the Echo Side watching Absolutely. the Echo Side tournaments going on, yeah. man. Hell just yeah. watching all the yeah. ninjas in there schooling, especially that little girl, Caitlin Schiller. That okay, little right. girl. That, that was the was, Schiller family. That That's who I brought on the stage. Oh, right. I watched that was her them. That, I watched her right. that first night in the tournament, and yeah. I was like, okay, she looks like she's pretty good. Mm. But then later on, we talk about what happened later on. Yeah. We'll get into more about her. But sure. Yeah, that was my that favorite was thing. It's just, just she, watching she the, the tournament. She was killing it in the yeah. tournament. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> she was doing good. She went deep in the field. I was very wow. surprised. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. 
So, so sorry, the tournaments in the Equi were for me because I was just hanging there with Andy watching it. It was just great, just super great. Yeah, every time I came by there, you and Andy were just like locking on and greasy. We're locking it down, right. you know what I'm <laughs> saying? Like, you know, just like there, running it, you know what I'm saying? It was great. Just watching people play something I created, man. And oh, I, I think, on. Keegan, it was you that pointed out that you get a little chance to touch somebody's life yeah. in your life. And just the millions of people, well, I can't say millions, I'm sorry, but the thousands of people that I've touched because yeah. of this game that yeah, Rob sure, created yeah. with me, that Rachel edited for us, that Tom did the amazing artwork. That yeah. is what's special to me. Right. Awesome. Because well, watching everybody be. enjoy that game. Yep. That's and thank you for it. Thank yeah, you for thank a you. juggalo that plays the game. Thank you guys. You know. Yeah, and, so. and, and, and I talked to ninjas like uh, there were quest players and also ninjas that were uh, into the Echo Side players, uh -huh. and they were both saying like they they practice all year for yeah, this. Yeah, they do. Yeah, like they're just yeah. like trying to get it in, like like you know, what I'm saying and uh, and so yeah, it was great, man, to see them there in their element. Uh, going 110 percent to win because they all want to claim that number one prize. They don't care about the prizes. They want that little amulet that says they were number one. Yeah, it's or bragging right. What they and want. the gold ah, plaque. Exactly. You know? We're here to win. World champion. Yep. Yep. Uh, what you got, Rudy? Um, I, I'd like to pass mine over to KG because he hasn't said two words this whole oh, right. show. <laughs> oh, man. oh, KG, you still here? I told yeah. you I forget you were there. <laughs> and, and, and I see KG and Carlito sitting here with nothing to say. So go ahead, KG, take it away. Well, Rude Boy, you are as gracious as you are talented, my friend. I but uh, for me, uh, I feel like my uh, vibe is what a lot of people in the chat room are saying, too, was the Juggalos were the highlight for me for day one. As soon as I got there, you just start, you just feel that magic that when there's a lot of Juggalos around and just the magic of the creations and seeing the people's, uh, everyone who's exhibiting art and all these creative things. And to me, it's like, the most freshest ninjas are the ones who go out of their way to travel, to be a part of, and to support something special like this. So to me, just to look at everybody and to be like, oh yeah, I've seen that dude before, or that dude, girls in this video or whatever, just seeing all that magic and seeing uh, this beautiful thing created out of an idea and out of a concept and done with a totally DIY mentality. You know what I'm saying? For Juggalos, by Juggalos, that's some some magical shit. It yeah. sure, it sure hey, was. Hey, it sure was. Carlito. Oh uh, yeah, my favorite thing at a con. Well, I had a couple of different things. Uh, I really liked the casino. Yeah, yeah no doubt. Boy. me and my pops, we went in there. We was kicking ass. You know <laughs> yeah, what I'm boy. <laughs> Schooling it. Uh, another game I played was the Rude Boy Sorry uh, tournament, yeah. which was yeah. hype. Yeah. I watched that. That so was pretty live. cool. Yeah, it was super hype, but. Uh, I really loved uh, the concert, to be honest. You know, yeah. up there with Shaggy Tudo murdering yep. it. Yep. You know right. Saying? After a day full of gaming. Yeah, he kept, he kept going and going at that concert, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> I think he did like an hour and a half set or some shit, yeah, man. man. <laughs> it just kept going. He, he did. It was much longer than any set he's yeah, done on no tour doubt. at all. Yeah, yeah. That was That's insane, right. yeah. Like, yep. I, I remember, because um, we were on a time, you know, yeah. we, we were on a time thing, and... Uh, Billy was like, uh, go ask uh, Clay how much longer, Rudy. And I went up there, and right. he was like, 47 minutes. I'm like, and that was like almost an hour into it. I was like, huh? I went back. I was like, he said 47 minutes. He was like, uh, okay. Right. <laughs> what, are you going to stop him? Right. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. One thing about it is that concert was going on after the bone happened. Yeah. And, right. yeah. and basically everybody was like, oh, it's about to be shut down or it is shut down. Yeah. Yeah. Cops like, were waiting back. Stage. And the crowd was fucking live as fuck, man. They were just getting it. There in. was something like, special about that yeah, set. I've seen them a lot. You guys right. seen them way more than I have. There was something magical about that. Yeah, set. no doubt. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Cool well. The highlight for me, um, for uh, day one, was uh, walking into. Uh, once again, you know, Rob and I, we've done a million of these things together. And every time we've ever walked into one, it's always like, whoa, this shit's big, you know. Yeah. And that's the same I felt about Gibraltar Trade Center. But yeah. this time it was like level 50 higher. Yeah. Right, like yeah. walking in there, I was yeah. like, holy shit, man. Right. And I was carrying in some boxes from the tour, and I was like, what the? F I, I didn't even care where these boxes went. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, this yeah. is for real fucking happening, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and for me personally is when – the dust settled when the doors opened and because I walked in, I was like, hey, what's up, Rob? And he was gave me one of these 
what's up? He kept walking. I was like, yeah. oh, okay, he's in mode. I, I got it. He's in his mode. Yeah, yeah. Super ninja. Then seeing him, <laughs> then seeing him a couple hours later, him seeing him a couple hours later, him coming up to me, hey, man, what's up? Giving me a big dap and a hug. Like, as if he didn't see me at all yeah. earlier. <laughs> as if he didn't see me at all singer. earlier. Yep, yep. Right. But, w- breathing me. Right. But him looking at me saying, look at this, Rudy. And I could see in his eyes the glow. Yeah. That, to me right there, that was worth every fucking thing. Because, look, here's the difference between, um, uh, like, an event like this or... or this is his fucking WrestleMania. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. This is his passion. Exactly. This is his love. This is everything to Rob. And I've known this for years. We would sit and drive in these long van fucking uh, um, uh, 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 road trips and just talk, talk about how we would do things, how we would have cons, how we would set up things. And this guy just continued, man. Sometimes we'd be driving from Detroit to San Francisco, and he would just, all the way there, continuously have it structured the way he wanted it. And some 10 years later or 15 years, whatever it is, he made the shit possible. Yes. He made it happen. (laughs) And for me, that was the bomb. And just like Carlito said, hanging out in the casino with Carlito and schooling it. (laughs) (laughs) Schooling it. True story, real quickly. It's a true story. We're sitting there at the roulette table, and everybody's just quiet. Everybody's just putting down their chips. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I looked over at Carlito. I was like, follow me. And I, my hand to God. I said, follow me. I took a fat-ass stack of my chips and threw it all on 17. And I was like, all I said this. I was like, all of you bitches better follow me right now because 17 comes up right fucking here. Right. Carlito was like, boom, here's mine. And everybody at the table sat there like. And uh, the whole time I'm like, you motherfuckers are missing out. You're missing yeah. out. Yeah. You're missing out. The guy dropped the marble. Brrr, didn't even say nothing when it fell into the fucking slot. Just gave me a high five and was like, Good fucking job. Wow. Good fucking pay. Wow. Am I lying, Carlito? That's the truth. And then everybody, then everybody wanted to follow me. Right. And I didn't have nothing for him then. I was like, I ain't got nothing for you now. Shit. Right. I'm cashing in. Bye. After the show, I think we got to go hit up MGM. I'm taking you guys right. to MGM. Shit, man. I, I said, where's that leaderboard? Yeah. Right. That's, right. That's awesome. It's a great yeah, time, man. You know, the, the one thing about this con um, is so few times in my life where I'm content with how everything is coming together or how everything came together, you know. Right. And this was one of those moments where when everything was set up and everything was together and the team that we had in place, the volunteers, everything, the game masters, uh, the crew running it, I was really content. Like, I was like, this is the shit. Our crew was the bomb. Yeah, yeah like, this is the shit right yeah. here. Like, there's no way the family's not going to come in here and not have a good time. Yeah. Like, this is great. The way the setup, and uh, as KG mentioned, like, Juggalos, you know, the family all together, that's the magic for sure. Yeah. You know, like, all we're doing is laying the foundation, but that was a fucking great foundation to have a great-ass time that weekend, you know what I'm saying, everything. And, and that was my favorite part of day one, was seeing everyone's creativity, you know, from the art contest, you know, which mm. I get to judge with Tom and Jesse. I mean, just the amazing entries that were put in there and um even down to you know suicide created the bizarre bizarre board game from right. the album yeah. and he walked he came he said come look <clears throat> come look check out the dice and the one are on the dice is herpes medication and i said how did you <laughs> make <laughs> herpes <laughs> dice uh, <laughs> custom, <laughs> custom design <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, hey rob yeah well if i could throw one more thing out too uh for me Doing that uh, that backyard wrestling video game yes. tournament with uh, the Carnival Spirits put on, man. Yeah, that shit was so fucking dope. And 
you know, the way you guys had it set up with like what are they, like these side by side sixty five inch TVs? Yeah, or whatever? there were uh, fifty five inch TVs. Oh, we, we actually Just go bought. With it, we actually oh you sure. bought oh. we bought for the con. Yeah, you wow. know what I mean. Yeah, and we we had three other TVs that we set up in the uh, games library that had video games, the classic video games, Atari twenty six hundred, Sega Genesis, and all that. Playing. But you guys didn't notice the tag was still yeah. on it because it went right back <laughs> to <laughs> Best Buy. <laughs> <laughs> it went right back. That's right. They're like, don't touch it, don't get yeah. no. Fingerprints on it. Uh, Don't take the plastic but yeah, off. We, we had right. It had that that yeah. special plastic <laughs> over the screen. Yeah, we had the, we had the stands. We had the stands set up, like you know, for the TVs mounted. Uh, you know, just basically creating the dopest spot with the with the rows of chairs, so everyone can sit down and watch the the gaming tournaments or, or wait till their turn uh, to compete in it. But yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, we had ahead. like a, a full a full house in there, man, and we, we did backyard wrestling one on the one screen and backyard wrestling two on the other, and we did so a full dope. like NCAA style brackets. You know what I mean? So a lot of people played through, and it all comes down to uh, to one winner. And they all yeah. love that Rude Boy character, from what I yes. understand. Hardcore the most legend. Played, the most, I told this to Rob and Rude Boy, but obviously uh, the most played characters were in no order: uh, uh, the Rude Boy. Evil Dead, uh, obviously Violent J and Shaggy, also Vampiro, and for some reason, uh, Josh Asbill was very popular. <laughs> 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 so, okay. He was the he was an, an actual real name. life juggalo that won. A <laughs> yeah, I remember. Oh, yes, he okay. won a contest so yeah. that you could be a character in the oh, game. Like, I no insisted shit. on doing putting a, a real person, someone who won in the game, and everyone was against it. I was like, no, this is who does that? Like, no right. one does that, especially wow. as like a straight right, character. Right, right, right. You know, you know, you know, another thing, Rob, real quickly um, for me was walking into the con and um, seeing um, my my childhood before my very eyes. Yeah. Yes. Seeing yeah. tall Jess, yes. sure. seeing yeah, Nathan, yeah. seeing my homies all together. Right. Fucking still after all of these, even though we all go our separate ways. Right. But we all come back for that magical time at least once or twice a year now. Yeah. Right. And and. and to me, man, you know, you know, you know it, it, it put a lump in my throat. Yeah, because guys, you know man. that's that's a cool thing about the con is like a lot of ninjas don't know, but Psychopathic came up on a group of nerdies and <laughs> right. thugs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's like what found the foundation, the beginning of Psychopathic was. Amen. You know, so to, to have this con. You know, you're bringing the nerdies back, too. That's right. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it's like right. everybody's there, kind of. You know what I mean? So just like you say, you see these ninjas you haven't seen in a minute. You're like, oh, shit, because now they can be a part of this, too. You know, uh, Nathan and Jesse in particular. Yes, you know what I'm saying? No and, doubt. and others. Like, you, you know, you had Tom, too, last right, year and all right. those ninjas. Nathan extra uh -huh. chilling, you know, hanging out. So, you know what I mean? Like, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a wonderful thing, you know it what I mean? sure is. To get man. everybody all together for one event like that, you know? And speaking of childhood, I think one of my favorite parts were watching the kids in the bouncy houses, yes. the obstacle oh, yeah. courses, wow. and they hijacked. Yeah. It was all the Juggalos kids <laughs> made <laughs> friends with each other, and they hijacked all the trikes. They, they were <laughs> on those trikes so hard. You could so not get one. Yeah. 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 Not get one. My, my Carlito did. He pushed them off. <laughs> 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 Joey, who ran the Munchkin <laughs> tournament, his son, my godson, came in, and um, you know he was holding his hand, and and he broke right from his dad, hopped on a trike with one of the little kids, and said, "Go, go, go! My dad's coming!" Right. <laughs> yeah. oh. Peel it off. Yeah, man. So that, good. That's that's the wonderful thing about the event yeah. too is that it's it's uh, you know bring your children, man. It's yeah. like you know. Yep. There's uh, the games library has all the kids games. Uh, we got the video games. Yep. We got the trikes. We got the bouncy house. All that stuff. So it's like. You know, a lot of old school juggalos, you know, we're all older now. We got families, yep. you know what I'm saying? So it's like to be able to bring your family, yeah. you know, to these events and finally sharing an experience, a juggalo event with your with your little kids, you know, that's that's what and really it. that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. What I mean? Look, yeah. look, the gathering, not so much. No, no, yeah, no, no, no. Right. 100 percent. But but no. but but something yeah. like this. Right. It's where you want it's to have your that. family. You, you don't have yeah. to be a juggler to enjoy this event, though. You know, right. like you, honest no. to God, you don't. You know, and it's 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 just something something you just special. Want, like to have a good time. Yeah, that's yeah. all you need. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, the hotel parties was lit as hell. Right? <laughs> Crazy, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Rudy, how did it work out for you posting your rider in advance? Were you able to get some of your drink requests <laughs> met? Oh, I didn't. You know, I I actually did get my drink request, and 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 really another highlight was after the concerts, was hanging out with all the juggalos in the atrium, 
And there was a juggalette playing piano while Rude Boy sang. Yep, yep. Oh, and there was shit, at I least 50 oh, was fucking <laughs> juggalos <laughs> right. blew out, right. blew out to the max. And, and, and the, the, the management of the hotel came over. Really nice lady. She came over. And they she were said, like, we've never heard anyone sing as good as you. Sir. No, <laughs> right, no right. she was like, she was like, may I, may I speak to you? I said, yeah, because I, I seemed, I guess I was the, the host of the event. And so I said, sure. And she says, look, I don't care if you guys are here all night long. The hotel is all belongs to you guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She said, but the only thing is I need those guys to put their drinks in cups and stop smoking weed in the atrium. Yeah. She was like, That's fair. go for it. Have That's a good fair. night. And we did. Yeah. We just chilled yeah, right. and hung they out. They gave us no problems. Night. Yep. They were, yeah. that was great. Yep. Okay. That was great. Yes. All right, Keegan, you got a, you got a favorite moment? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll keep it kind of short here because um, you actually, I was going to say creativity. And uh, yeah. go figure, you beat me to it. But uh, um, the, the other part I wanted to touch on was, for me, you know, I, I know I, I do a lot of, I do comedy, I perform a lot, but I always like to be someone that, that helps too. You know what I'm saying? Like behind the scenes. And Dude, you already got the job, man. No, no, no. <laughs> listen, listen. Stop, stop, stop. stop. So, so, so for me, it, I, I was walking around like on my time's off trying to see if there was anything that needed to be done. But just seeing everyone behind the scenes scrambling to make sure that everyone else had a good time. Mm. And, and just to see the hard work that kind of went into that. Um, like there was a couple events that I, I was getting ready for Catch 21. And, uh, you know, last year we were a little short staffed. This year you had like uh, it was Heather Mars and I want to say it was Jake Crows or Cross or uh, yeah Jake Jones Jake Jones, Jones. why yeah, don't I call that okay Jake Jones. yeah oh, Jake Holy forgive me because um they yeah. those two together <laughs> I walked in there like what do you need what do you like almost yeah. treat me like a were, like a they superstar were, they were awesome but yes, they were I mean they awesome. had everything done I'm like well fuck is that, you know you guys need help lifting up they're like we got it we got it and it's like man to just see everyone pull together to make sure that all the events ran smooth like you said the the four juggalos by juggalos you can't you can't hammer that home enough right. and uh and just to see everyone pull their weight hey, it man. was it was fucking insane yes. man there was yes. no divas man we fucking every single everyone at this table was a grinder you right, know and, yeah. and oh, we yeah. got shit done no doubt yeah. Yeah. He- yeah, Heather Mars and uh Jake Jones, they're they're definitely the yeah. super team in the flavor. It was yeah. insane. It was yeah. insane. Like I had conversations with them before the event even started and they were taking it extremely serious, which yeah. is mad fucking respect. So I told them I tried to make a couple jokes to the crowd. I'm like, guys, we got this. Like, trust <laughs> right. me, we you, no, man. Stras did let's right, I, yeah. I, I I literally they I was like, Let me buy you water, food, <laughs> something. <laughs> like you guys are doing a phenomenal job, but it's not, you know. Yeah. Let's have some fun. And, and, uh, and DJ Shimmy D. With the oh, my God. DJ Shimmy D is right, just amazing. The hook up. Yeah, yeah, he yes. had the, uh, I came in there. He had the yeah. glass and the DJ Shimmy D yeah. like, <laughs> booth and shit. I For was a, like, oh, that's dope. I always tried to do the Joker's that? car. Like, last year was a Carnival of Carnage, where we had the blue yeah. and pink. This year, I was like Walmart ringmaster. I had a cheap little vest <laughs> with some black slacks, you know, but... Uh, you know, and he did the same thing. He knew, he knew what I was going to do, and he was like, hey, I want us all to be matching. And I'm like, that's just everyone stepping their game up, man. Right, no doubt. You know? I want to uh, shout out those uh, great Malenko shows that went on on the way down there, yeah. man. That was just yeah. man. Right. Yeah. sold out shows. Yeah. Yeah. Every one of them sold out. Of course, of course. Yeah. Yeah, Every one of them sold out. out. Hey, and I'd like to shout out that uh, Beat the DJ thing. That was awesome. Hey, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. we put it down. No, we didn't oh. get to do it. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit. Look that at everybody was, here. Oh, Look that at was everybody. Going, everybody that not me. at the table. Not, it was the shit, not yo. me. Yeah. That was Saturday. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw me looking yeah. Yeah. never yeah. went down. You guys uh-huh. didn't and, get to and do it. Hold on. We what put a that? we put a oh, shit. Uh, yeah, we cost too much ruckus. So they had Carlino, <laughs> we put a shit ton of work into that fucking show, too. It oh, was, yeah. It was going to yeah. be the bomb. But you will see it at the fucking gathering. 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 Damn right. Yeah. At the yeah. gathering. Oh, so yeah. Get ready for that. Beat the DJ. Yep. Yeah. With DJ so Carlito. It, it, it's a karaoke. Name that. No, not karaoke. Name that tune style game show. Right, right, Where it right. tests your music right. knowledge. Hey. And, and uh, yeah, so that should Underground go Underground music. Should go and, and I want to yeah, shout out uh, Sarah in Chicago. I didn't get all of her information, but uh, she actually won the first night of uh, Sorry. And so I'd like oh, to send nice. her something out just okay, as right. a yeah. prize. She won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And she was supposed to take on next day. And everybody at, at the Sorry tournament was yeah. shit talking, man. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> bitch. Yeah, I was watching. You, you guys went crazy. I was like, yes. 
That's a violent game. It's a violent game. It was <laughs> great. I was, you know, I didn't know what to think at first. And every they, the Juggalos just took over. It was like, four backwards, bitch, what? And I'm like, Because wow. I was sitting on my Red Dragon there. I'm like, damn, you're getting crazy yeah. over here. Look at that. Yeah, was, I mean, I played um, sorry, but not like that. <laughs> I want to give out uh, love to Heather Mars and, yes. and her husband, right? Z. 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 Yeah, that's her husband. Because uh, they built. Super Ninja. Yeah, they built the props for the for the Andy ICP Creed. set, you know, that you've seen in the background. Oh, wow. No yeah, they, actually, the show. they actually built more than that. But Way more. But space. because we had to switch stages, yep. they, it couldn't all fit. So. Uh, all you got to see is the what it was that game the dummy doll game yeah, yeah it was it down, down the clown down the clown yes. game yeah. that that was that was his creation and their creation they spent a lot of completely. time on that yeah, they were just completely really on their own yeah. just straight up volunteer to just I, show love give give back you know what I'm saying to to uh, to touch on that real quick yeah. I, I reached out to Heather and I had no idea you guys did this I had no idea she did those but I always see her outfits and I said look I want to do a oh. big this year for the con when I'm hosting a game show right. I go I know we only have five days so let's book for the gather and she goes fuck that I got time. Time. Let's do this. And I was like, all right. She took my sizes and she was like, I picture you being Bob Barker. I'm like, yeah, I got it. Good. But she meant Bob Bark as in dog. <laughs> so she shows up with this costume full my size with full posable tail, furry gloves, a dog, <laughs> <you> know, <laughs> a full hilarious. dog hair. Wig. I'm walking through the lobby the first night, like lit, like I'm dressed what? up as Bob Barker, you know? So that. it was all planned for Saturday and it didn't go through. But I told her, I'm like, I'm taking it home. And I don't give a fuck if it's 100 degrees at the gathering. I'm rocking that bitch <laughs> in one of the game shows. Sure, okay. And it was the same thing. She just completely yeah. did it out of nowhere in like five days. Th- didn't ask for anything. I was like, there's no way. I can't. Like, how? what do you say to that, you know? But, yeah, she's just her and her and Z. Good Lord. The yeah, talent phenomenal. is yeah, unbelievable. They're, I had no idea they did the stage props, fresh, but man. no yeah. surprise. Z also built the, um, the Juggalo News uh, cornhole. Boards. What? Show oh, me I your cornhole that. with yeah. the clown. I didn't know that. You, you wow. threw the the ball the 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 sack into the clown's yeah. mouth. You know? Yeah, oh, exactly. <laughs> yeah. The sack into <laughs> the clown's <laughs> mouth. That's wow, exact, that's exactly accurate. Anyway, <laughs> this so, got real pornographic, <laughs> real right. quick. So anyway, uh, so everything was going beautifully. It was. And I wanna I wanna go back in time, if I may, to when we first arrived at the convention center. Thursday. Yeah, it, well, it was uh, Wednesday. No, Wednesday. it was Tuesday. Well, it, it, it was Tuesday when <laughs> we arrived. Yeah. It was Tuesday when we okay. arrived. It was when we first were about to load in. Okay, uh, we opened up the bay doors and we came in, and we were like, "All right, we got to roll this thirty-sided die." We have a giant thirty-sided uh, Chris, die. Chris, Chris and Tox, uh, and, Morton's and list Ian. crew. Yeah, the uh, Ninjas of Smoke crew, they basically brought this giant 30-sided die that you'd <laughs> see in the Morton's Lounge. Yeah. And they were like, okay, let's roll the die to see how the con's going to go. So they handed the die to me, oh, you know, shit. and we're in this vacant hall, not not one prop lit yet laid. Nothing. It's totally vacant. We're looking at this huge hall, and I just threw that bitch across the carpeted floor, and it rolled, it rolled, it rolled. We were all moving with it, rolled, it rolled. Boom, 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 came to a one. Which is the worst roll you can get. Yeah, that's oh. the worst roll. But then all of a sudden, it was it was just hovering there. And, and we're then, screaming. Ah! Yeah, like, what? And all of a sudden, it just tipped back, boom, onto the 17. No oh, way. No, no way. fucking story, I swear to oh, God. Oh, wow. shit. <laughs> so, we like, so it's like. We were a- like, what? Ah! Oh! <laughs> and it, it's a representation of what the entire entire con became yeah, because it was exactly. a one that wow. became a 17. 17 right and we're gonna get to that okay so which is what happened it became a one but then it, it as became Rachel a 17 said, later on it became a 17 we're gonna get to that so basically the first uh the first sign of trouble that that i heard was that a ninja got beat up you know what I'm saying? Bad. And, and bad. Like hit with rocks. Uh, Face all bloodied up. Yeah, yeah, bloodied up. And I believe it was a young ninja too, like 15 or something. He was something. 17, 17 and it was okay. his first all event. Right, yep. right. So anyway, uh, so so I was like, whoa, what the fuck? What's going down? Like, I, you know, I, I was trying to figure it out. Like, you know, is this? And to me, it just seemed like, okay, a ninja got beat up, insulated, uh, you it's know, over isolated with, yeah. incident. Yep. You know, right. you know, which is so rare at Juggalo events. At any Juggalo event, yeah. especially we, a game con. We've yeah. had right. we've had four day gatherings go by without one incident. It's right. true. And so it's like you know, for this to go down at the con was just like what you know what I mean. So, so then all of a sudden, 
you know, I'm, I'm I was like, man, that that kid got beat up, man. Yeah. Dead body Dan ain't even in town. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? He's not even here. So, l- luckily, I heard like the like he was back in an effect. I heard he was back. Oh, like, he yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he didn't stop him one. Yeah, bit. like he, yeah. he just was in the hospital for a second, bounced out, and he was back having fun or whatever. But and, but uh, anyway, so that incident happened. So then. I guess a series of fights were breaking out. Like, you know, there was what what it was was there was two crews, juggalo crews. Two to three. To well, maybe three. Uh, yeah. is that, I, There's speculation is that it was three. You throw around? What's that? That there, it was all juggalo crews that were doing it? Yeah, yeah it was. Well, they're known. And, yeah. No, no, right, right. it was. Yeah. It was, yeah. KG. They're all juggalo crews that were fighting. And, and I verified this, and I'm going to get into that later. But anyway, they were basically like warring over like, you know, there was like Internet beef basically that started like a long time ago. And it was like it, it just built and built and built and built like, you know, uh, you know, talking shit on, online or whatever. Right. So to the point where, uh, you know, basically they took it to a whole nother level and then they were warned like at the con. Like and nobody expected it to go to that level. They didn't they didn't know it was going to go to that level. It yeah. just kind of like popped off, you know. Yeah. Now. You know, I know there's a lot of anger because the con was canceled and all this, and I want to get into that. And we're going to get into that in a minute. But basically what happened was, and I'm just going to tell you from my side of it, the Crown Plaza suits, if you will, were coming up to me and Rachel, and we're like, look, if one more incident happens, we're, we're shutting this whole thing down. And right. I was actually in the middle of having that conversation in front of my art booth with the head of security, two guys, and the hotel manager when a fist fight broke out next to the bouncy house where the kids were playing. Yeah, this right. is where we were having the sorry tournament. And all yep. of a sudden I look over and Lewis and I, we immediately jump up to try to stop this. Yeah. But there was no stopping it when you got, you know, a bunch of guys just going at it. Well, I it. jumped in the middle of it and pulled them mm-hmm. apart until security came up and I let them take it over because I was trying to get the one dude's badge. I was badge. right there. And mm-hmm. security, fine. I just backed up then and said, let them take care of it. Yep. So anyway, uh, so so then the guy, you know, the, basically the guy was like, I have one more incident. So then I was like setting up for my D&D adventure. You know what I mean? So I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm not going to be able to do this right now. Like, I got to fucking find out what's going on because it's like it's not just one incident. Now it's like a, a right series now, yeah, now it's of multiple, altercation. Yeah. Obviously, ninjas are mad and retaliating. It's going back and forth now. So uh, so I was like, all right, we got to figure out what's going on. And then all of a sudden I got the call from Billy who was backstage, you know, the concert, get ready for the concert. And basically like, Hey, you got to come over here right now. You know? And I was like, all right, straight. So then I went over there and basically we talked. Okay. We talked for at least an hour straight. Me and Billy were trying to come up with every option available for the con to continue. But they were like, look, since the last time I talked to you, there's like been three more incidents. You know, we got people throwing rocks at the windows and all this shit. And like, you know, there's f- more fights that broke out. The, the, the main ninja of the hotel was like, it's over. You know what I mean? Uh, and, and, and I want to I want to point this out because this really pissed me off. That letter that got slipped out on, underneath everybody's, everybody's door. Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. Uh, we had n- we did not make the call to shut it down in any way. DCG Con oh, Psychopathic wow. Records. Right. Because they tried to make they it just old- tried to soften the blow on them like, hey, uh, DCG Con and the Crown Plaza have decided no, fuck right. no, oh, fuck no. Oh, like, anyway, wow. so I, I was really upset <laughs> about that. that. Like, I never in my life, Rudy, and you know me. Yeah. Never in my life have I ever thought to sue somebody for something. But that's the first thing that came to my mind. How could they fucking? Fuck yeah, man! Put words in put your word, mouth. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like put put us. Like yeah, we decided. Yeah, no, we decided no. it was best. The, the whole no. time we're sitting there battling with them. Like, hey, can we double the security? You know, we're right. trying to talk to the crews. We're trying to figure out what's going on. You know, what can we do? You know, we're trying to come up with options. Any fucking option. Right. You know right. What I mean? So kind of like where it left off was, all right, let's move everybody over in the concert hall run the concert and then me and billy are talking we're like okay if the concert goes smooth we'll talk to him after the concert and right. be like hey you know look it went, went good great. like let's just keep this event going because you try to shut this shit down who knows what's gonna happen you know? right so during the concert i guess there was some more fucking incidents no yeah. see i didn't hear that no, i didn't know that either yeah. I didn't know so that the either. first time at, that since i've been around you know the past 15 years of going to shows that juggalos had been fighting with each other Right, like yeah, this yeah. on this level. Right, yeah, no. exactly on this level. Yeah, yeah, this is insane. Never before. No. So anyway, no. so the guy was like, "Look, I made my decision that no matter what you say, he's just like, it's it's over. You know, we're gonna shut it down. You know, 
Da, da, da. So we're talking like after the concert, like we're trying to f- smooth it over, and it's just nothing's working. It's it's not it's not happening, right? Right. So they're like, okay, well, I was like, what are you gonna do? And he's like, all right, we're gonna put some notes under the doors, you know, basically letting everybody know, like we're gonna d- disperse the crowd, and then basically put notes under the door. So they were like, what kind of number you want to use? And you know what I'm saying? I was like, look. <laughs> Just give them my number, you know what I'm right. saying? Because, like, <laughs> like I, I feel like, fuck, man. Like, the whole thing went to shit. Like, you know what I mean? I'm feeling crazy bad because I, sure. I know ninjas, like, like me, have been waiting for this shit all year round. Right. So I was like, just give them my number. Give them my email. Just fucking whatever. You know right, what I mean? Right. Uh, just put it out there. So they put the note under the door. And then that's when, like, you know, I've been dealing with, like, ninjas since then. Like, hey, you know, what's up with the refund? Duh, duh, duh. Okay, cool. You know what I mean? Like, I, okay, now, now before we get into that, I want to, I want to say that uh, this event running the DCG Con has been uh, financially a catastrophic failure because of the cancellation. You know what I mean? A lot of ninjas were coming in on Saturday. We went all in on the expenses. So I, I just want ninjas to know that that like DCG and Psychopathic, we fucking hurt hard over this one because of the cancellation. Like right. ten, tens of thousands of dollars, like yeah. way under budget. You know what I mean? So like, um, so, you know, we're hurting along with everybody else, but we, we basically, you know, scrambled KG, uh, came up with a great idea. Hey, let's do the concert at the Roxy. I, he, I, I'm sure other ninjas had the idea too, but he was dropping it. Like, Hey, let's do the concert at the Roxy. Let's keep this thing rolling. Yeah, he did. I remember. We're like, we're like, all right, cool. Thank you. Yeah. So, yeah. so we started looking into that. Boom. We got that, uh, you know, scum. Uh, came through the L- yes. LSP crew. They're fucking awesome. Hey, Amen. They're in Denver. They had our backs. They're like, hey man, we got fucking love for you guys. Come in, do the do the do the show at our club. We're like, all right, cool. So everything worked out. We did the concert that Saturday night. Packed as many ninjas as we could in there. Uh, I, I'm told some ninjas got turned away or whatever due due to be over, overcrowded. But most ninjas got in there. They, you know, because a lot of people when they heard it was canceled, they just left. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's how we were able to fit everybody else into that club. Right. 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 So anyway, uh, so that's what it was. But I, I want to get into uh, talking about, you know, there's a lot of anger and stuff at these juggalo crews and stuff like that. And, and, and I want to I want to make some statements. I, I put a lot of uh, thought into this. And one thing, the first thing that popped into my head when I when I heard ninjas were battling was, yeah, just like anybody else. It's, it's like kind of sad, like because the one thing uh, doing all these events is that. You know, jugglers are oppressed by the outside world. Like we're oppressed by the outside world, and these events are one place we can escape from all that. To be at an event and it's jugglers warring with jugglers, that mm. is heart fucking breaking. Yeah, yes. it sucks. It's like it sucks. it's heartbreaking. It's like you know, n- not 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 just the fact that oh you all you all gonna maybe jeopardize the whole event, but just seeing jugglers battle with jugglers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. Okay, anyway, um, it, it, it's just heartbreaking, right? So the other thing that came to my mind immediately is I understand in a way. Because, Me too. Because I've been there. Me too. I've been there. I was just about to say you know that, I mean? Rob. Like, like I've, I've been, been on that. I've been on that. Uh, right, exactly end what they're. Right. On, that, on that same end of. So I, I don't give a it. fuck where we're at. It's right. going down. Right. I understand it because, like, when I was younger, you know, growing up battling with the HP yes, posse and yes. shit, like, we were rolling looking for right. their boys. They're rolling looking for our boys. So I get it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, in no way. Was there any outward like I hate those guys or fuck fuck right. them or not? No, in no way was I because ever like we that. were those guys, right. Rob. You know what I'm saying? We were right. those guys, hundred percent. So so for me, it was kind of like, all right, I get why they're battling, but you know what is going on? You know. So anyway, after the aftermath of it was, I called the ninjas up and basically talked to everybody. That was involved. Like I right. found out who was all involved. I talked to everybody individually. Multiple crews. Multiple yeah. crews, and basically they're all on the same page. They're all juggalos, you know what I'm saying? And they all, uh, they didn't think it was gonna go to that level, and it just kind of went there. It, it escalated and unfolded, and they're all like, um, they're all sorry that the event was canceled. Like that's the last thing they wanted to happen. They they were just going for. The soldiers, you know, if you will, their targets or whatever, right, right. and just trying to isolate that. They had no idea what was going to unfold, and they 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 apologized for for what happened. That's cool, and that goes a long way with me. me I too. personally, 
have no anger or hatred towards towards those kids at all. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I don't. And so for me, like talking to each one of them, I understood. You know what right. I'm saying? It's like okay, straight. And it's my hope, okay, that I know ninjas are wild up and like you know we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, and you know fuck them and all this shit, man. To just let it go, you know what I'm saying? Because that's how this all started. Like, the worst thing ain't happening it just perpetuates and gets worse and worse. And all of a sudden, it's just like, you know, this full-on civil war or some shit, you know? Yeah. The cycle yeah, no of doubt. retaliation yeah. cannot continue no, in our family. Not. The no. cycle of retaliation cannot continue. Because I've seen yeah. this type of thing happen in my neighborhood. Yep. You know, I had friends killed when we were teenagers. Right. You know, and I don't want to see that happen in our family. Yeah. Yeah, at all, so that sure. so forgiveness has to happen. Yep. Yeah. And a treaty has to happen. Yeah. So so kind of like, the, okay. So see, how see that that's all fine and dandy, but you know we we don't we're, we're not living in their shoes either. You know. Yeah, but I nobody I, I, nobody lived in our shoes. No, no, you know no doubt. Saying? But I talked to them, and I hope that that yeah. what you're talking, yeah, got through to them. Yeah, yeah that's I pray that that happened. Okay, so so how this all began was kind of like the, the troll thing, like, you know what I mean? The internet, <laughs> internet bullshit. beef, you know? And, and it's kind of like, in a way, well, in at, some at way. Its core, at, at its very core, though, I think it was a couple of people who wanted to be uh, a voice that was pro-Juggalo in an in a internet culture that was increasingly not always pro-Juggalo. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so so in other words, there's uh, there's haters on Psychopathic, right? There's always been haters on psychopathic. Since day Since one. Day one, there's yeah. been day haters. One. You know what yeah. I mean? And and the thing way with, back at dog beats. The thing with like Facebook and social media and all that, it, it allows people to have a louder voice than yeah. than back in the day. You yep. know what I mean? So they they seem really loud, but the thing is, no matter how much they like hate on psychopathic and you know whatever they want to do, it's like ninjas see you know, all that we do, you know, for the family. And, the, you know what I'm saying? No matter what, nin ninjas are coming out. The, the tour is sold out. Like, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 whatever they're saying, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean yeah. dick. You know what I mean? Yeah. So to me, to me, and this is the advice I got to to give out to the trolls, man. Like, seriously, the worst thing you can do to somebody that you don't like is stop talking about Oh, them. yeah. You know what yep. I mean? Stop going to their shows. If you hate psychopathic, just stop talking about psychopathic. Yep. If you hate Twisted, stop talking about Twisted. Yeah, right. Stop going to yeah. the shows. Stop buying their CDs. That's the most harm you can do to them yeah. because then it's making them less relevant. Right. But when you're shouting, uh, we, I hate psychopathic every day or I hate Twisted every day, it's like all you're yeah. doing is – having people talk about, talk about psychopathic yeah. or talk about yeah. twisted. Right, right, right. You know what no I mean? Doubt, no doubt, so the, no doubt. the the most the the most harm you can do is just stop talking about them. Right. They don't get it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They don't get it. They think they're doing something. They think they're winning some kind of battle and they're not. Every time they say psychopathic out their mouth, if they hate psychopathic, you're just fucking That's that yeah. old uplifting. That's yeah. that old cliche. If you're yeah. talking about me, make sure that you spell my name right. Right. You know right, what I'm right. 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 I mean it's it's so true. I cannot tell you enough yes. how true that is. Yes. So like the whole troll thing, like, look, we honestly I, I you know, in one sense I appreciate what ninjas are trying to do, have our backs. Yeah. Right. Like in one way I appreciate it. Like okay. And it's funny sometimes. Yeah, it is funny. Yeah, the memes and so all funny. that. Yeah, There's but a it's way reaching to reach a point now though where Until. it's, it's, yeah. not, it's yeah. not funny. So like 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 yeah. like back in the day I had I had that super beef with Otis, you know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. I said it on one show, I said my piece, I said what that I had it. to say, and yeah. that was it. You never hear me talk bad about him sure. since that point. Sure. I don't make it a point to, to tr you know, my whole life to try to destroy him. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? He's, I, I said what I had to say yeah. and, and I'm done with it. You right. know what I mean? And since then I, I've, I've, I've attained a peace. I feel like I've attained I a peace you. just recently yeah. with everything that went down. And yeah. I feel like now is the time where, you know, that I can finally start healing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and, and for and, you. Yeah. And, and I don't know if I'll ever forgive him 100%, yeah. but I can tolerate him. Let's just say yeah. it like that. You know what I mean? But, but the point is, is if I was hollering his name for fucking the last year, all that would do is uplift that kid. And that yeah. would, and that would you just I mean? keep you in a, in a grounded spot where you, you don't want to be in that yeah, dark it's spot. Not healthy. Amen. Yeah, it's not healthy, man. Yeah, you're, it's you're very toxic. filled with hate. Yeah. It's yeah. so toxic. That's yeah. it. Amen. Can so, I, oh, go ahead. Hey, I, I just have, I have one. No, KG, you got something to say? 
I was just gonna say real quick. Yeah. To me, the idea that I don't care what anyone's beef is with anybody, the idea that you would come to a dark carnival games fucking convention right. with yeah. express written consent of fighting people, that to me is not cool. That viol- and it doesn't matter whether it's the Dark Carnival Game Con, right. an ICP show, a Twisted show, a Tech Nine show. There's a zillion places. Go fight by the train tracks. Yes. Go fight behind the right. You know, hundred yeah, percent. I, okay, check. I agree with you, KG. At this point, to move forward, what do we do, though? I, 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 listen, I, listen. I, the, the, this is hold on, like hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This fighting at events is beyond unacceptable. Okay, yes. listen. Really this is events. this is what it is. I I I have come to the conclusion. Uh-huh. What it is is these crews, these ninjas. They're very much family. Okay. Yeah. They're our family, right? They're like the drunken uncle at the fucking barbecue that's sure. acting a fucking fool. Right. Everybody's like, oh shit, you know. Maybe what I mean? here they come. Here you know they come. Mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uncle Fred just walked but, in. Oh right. shit. Like we can't just the drunk you, we can't fall. just cut them off because no. they made a mistake. Yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, is they're living up to that mistake. It, from uh, the conversations I had with them, KG, is they're living up to that mistake. Like it'll never happen again, type shit. We're yeah. sorry Hope that so. it happened. You know what yeah. I mean? So like, like to me. Mad respect for that. That's yeah. how I, I respect right, that. Right, hundred percent. Them apologizing, them writing to me and apologizing for what went down. Like to me, that's a lot of respect. Hundred percent. You know what I mean? I don't have, I don't hold any kind of hatred for them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like wow. it's all about what happens from here on right. forward, though. And, and to think about you know all I mean? the work you put in and all the sacrifice you put in, and you're able to say, "Wow, I forgive them." That's beautiful. Yeah. Just yeah. like me Props. and Rudy said, yeah. but just like Props. me and Rudy said, it's it's not it's not only the fact of respect, but it's also we were them. Yeah. That was us. You man. know what I mean? Like you know, how could we judge what we did? <laughs> can't. <laughs> You, you know, know what I mean? You, you can't. Shit. You can't. You can't sit. You can't Beautiful. sit there. Uh, let 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 the the first without sin cast the first stone. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. Exactly. Amen. exactly. Amen. And you know, Rob, back in the day, HP, it don't give a fuck where it was at. No, it no. was gonna go down. <laughs> right. It didn't. Right. It didn't matter. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Shit. If you gonna, if you knew where those motherfuckers that, gonna be at, we're rolling up. That was the time to what, strike. Exactly. You know? But I, anyway, I, the the only thing I can say is that like. There needs to be fucking peace, man, yeah. between Moving these forward. crews and the trolling. You know what I mean? Like it's y'all, ridiculous, you know, man. Y- uh, for yeah. one, y'all like if y'all are protecting psychopathic, you know, just you don't have to, man. Yeah, like, we're fine. Yeah, like we really are. Like, like, uh, don't we love the love, the thing, but yeah, you ain't got to yeah. do the thing all is, that. The thing is, is like, don't give their voice power. Yeah, you know, to move you or upset you. Because when you do, that's that's what they want. Exactly, they want the they reaction. They want exactly. their voice yeah. to have power. They want you to react. They want you to make a song dissing them. Yeah, you know what I mean. And at this point, it's less about defending rap beef and more about protecting each other. Because as as we see now, it's spilled over to the fan base in a really violent way. Where yeah. now our children are even at risk sure. when that fight broke out next to the bouncy house. Yep. So now let's all look at ourselves if we could and say, well, how can I? Be better to foster this community in a positive way because it's the little things that go a long way. You don't necessarily have to be fist fighting next to the bouncy house to be part of the problem. You can be part of the solution just by being a little kinder to each other and remembering that this yeah. is a family. You know, and, and, and Lewis, uh, thank you for jumping in there yeah. and trying to break thank it up. Thank you, Lewis. Because that's what, that's what it thank really should have been Rudy. about. And Rudy, yeah. Rudy, you. sorry, Rudy. Yeah, yeah yep. you, were, you were there too? Yeah. Okay. You know, yeah. the Peacekeepers. Thing is, thank you, Rudy, for, for breaking yeah. up that fight because that's really what it's about. If, if you even see a fight, that's yeah. what should be happening. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Everybody yeah. should jump in there and help Squash break it up. Beef. You know, they, yeah, before, just don't just sit there and watch. You know what I'm saying? That's family right there. I want to add. Know? I want to add something real quick. Um, and one thing that I love about this show and this group of people, I know you guys is, uh, we keep it real. Let's just be honest. There's there's no bullshit here. So, um, I think moving forward, uh, there's a lot of things that that a lot of us think behind the scenes, and I know that um, that the need to be said. And I think a, a little bit of it, a little part of all of us is accountable. And all, I think if there's going to be real change, it has to come from the top. We have to lead by example. Um, and, and not feed into that a lot of ourselves, okay? So um, there, there's a lot of juggalo YouTubers out there that, that battle with each other amongst themselves, and I've seen some very terrible things since this happened. And uh, the violence, man, that's not what this is about. You, can, you don't have to like anybody. That's not what we're saying. It, but, 
but there needs to be a respect. And uh, like like these, a lot of people were commenting on my page saying we're gonna go fuck Astronomicon up. And I yeah. said, why? No, 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 no. listen, no. listen, listen, no, listen, no, listen, no. listen, listen. Right. So, so, no. and it's 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 like you're you're missing the point. And when I talked to you last night, and you asked me to come on the show, a I was I was fucking humbled. And and you said, you know, the theme of tonight, we we need to we need to find some peace. We need to find some some common ground. And um, there's there's a friend of mine when I started off in this scene. Obviously, you know, Spider helped me through a lot of this. And when I was a nobody, there was a, a cat that we all know. His name is the ROC, right? Yeah. And he invested a lot of money into me. He made me my first album. He paid for every beat. He paid to have that CD made. He invited me to his wedding two years ago. Yeah. I have a text in my phone right now that I'll show you. He was the only person to text me at 3 a.m. on the night of the march. And he said, I hope you guys drive down safe. And I got your guys' backs. I, I can prove it right now if you don't believe it. So I, I, I called him uh, after I got off the phone with you. And, and we spoke today on the way of me driving to the office. And, and he said, I want you to know if there's anything I can do to help on, on our end represent, this needs to stop. He goes, I, it broke my heart to see what happened to the con. He goes, everybody's made mistakes on both sides. We can agree. There's been a lot of things that have happened. But there needs to be something now to where it's innocent people are getting involved in this thing. Right, sure. Kids. Yeah. And th there needs to be something to where it, it meant a lot for, for me to hear from him to reach out. Then. And he told me exactly. He goes, don't be afraid to say my name tonight. I'm not afraid to say it. Mm. So to me, for someone like that, when I, when I called it, that's my boy. So because of all this stuff is going on and he's helped me, he's been through a lot of personal problems in my life. Am I just supposed to say fuck him because of what side he's with? No. We don't think like that, right? No, I don't. So I, we, need, I don't we, need, we, we need to convey that message that let people like what they like. And like you said, the trolling, things like that, we need, it, it, it needs to stop, man. Hey, but yeah. you, but you, you know what really needs to stop? What is those motherfuckers that are online right now talking shit about how terrible the DCG con was. And you weren't even fucking there. Yes, right. thank right. you. Oh, hundred percent. You weren't right. even fucking right. there. But to go that, to Rob's point, don't give him that. That's the point. Don't give him that. Like, like just what? you yeah. bringing that up. Is yeah, don't them give a, him that. Giving man. them a voice. Yeah, you, you know, know the mean? thing yep. about like the trolls and shit is like, if we're not even stressing about people trolling about us, talking shit about us, yeah. like, why are you gonna let that stress your life? You know what I'm saying? No doubt. Like, yeah. For sure. So the, the 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 whole point is, and and again, the the point you're 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 bringing up, Keegan, is that um, you know, throughout the whole history, like with with Twisted and everybody, sure. there's been some wonderful, beautiful moments, amazing years. That some were of the awesome. best. Let's be honest. You know yeah. what I mean? And and. In every way, in my mind, mm -hmm. I don't consider us to be at war with no, them. No, that's you know what I'm saying. We don't look it's at like, it that way. It's like we had our differences. We parted ways. Yes. They're doing their thing. Yep. We're doing our thing. We're both shining in our own ways. What's the problem? And, and you know, just like, yeah. you know, they're, they moved on. We moved on. Thank whatever. you. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's my hope, honestly, that at some point, maybe we can come back together yep. and do something with them. Yeah. If egos can be set aside. Exactly. And well, leave egos at I don't the door. Think, I don't and, think and anything. Work. I don't think any line has been crossed that yeah. can't be come back oh 100 percent you know, well, I mean, I mean, but in no way hold on in no way do i wish upon them no like like trolls like no attacking no, no. them yeah. day and night yeah trying to fuck with them and and, and ruin their fucking car well, yeah. well well i mean let's keep it real we're all sitting here keeping it real let's Let's, uh, you know, give them a shout out for uh, reposting where the yes. concert was going to sure. be the yeah. other night. I mean, a yeah. amen. I yeah. Mean, anyway, so I was still. Yeah. Please don't even the, the fact people even bring it up. Yeah. Like, trying to ruin another event. It's, it, that's that's, just yeah, dumb. That, that's, that's bullshit, dumb. man. That, that's got to stop. The cycle, man. That's gotta of stop. the cycle of retaliation Thank cannot you. continue if we're going to keep the dark carnival alive. Yeah. Thank right. you, Rachel. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, going back to my point, please don't give trolls, like, don't give them power by acknowledging what they're saying. And that's, that's exactly what's empowering them by you yeah. responding to what they're saying, by you talking about what they're saying, yeah. by you writing diss songs yep. against them. Gives Whatever them. you're doing, it's only empowering and uplifting them, and that's what they want. The worst thing you could do is never remark so, about anything they say. So, yeah. so, so check this out. So the bone happened. Yep. Then something magical fucking happened. Yeah. yeah. Let's yeah. move into that. Yep. I think we've, we've, 
We've w- the one uh, is uh, rolling Austin, to the seventeen uh, now. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Here's yeah. that seventeen. Yeah. Hold, hold up. One. Last. Let us get away from this I negativity. Know, I know, but one last thing. It's about to be a pot. I have one. Yeah. Thing one last too. thing I want to say is I forgive all those crews that were warned. I really yeah. do, Rudy. Wow. In my heart, I forgive them. Beautiful. And I, I know we all you do. I, we all I know it. you do because you wouldn't say it if you didn't right. mean it. And yeah. I understand it. Yes. And on behalf. Don't fucking hate on them. Just yeah. let it go, man. Realize it for what it was. Yeah. They they are sorry for what they did. Right. They have apologized. Yeah. They are fucking they they didn't think it was gonna get to that level. Look. And and they all agree that they're not gonna continue the war and they're <laughs> gonna let it go. Right. I would love to see those crews to be yeah. at the gathering at some oh my future God. point yeah. and just be chilling, <laughs> talking to each other. You know yep. what I'm saying? Yep. And everything's and, good. And, and look, if it's not a big deal to us. Right. That and we let it go, then let it go. That's all right. I'm saying, man. It's, it's, it don't. We're living it. We're living it with. People. They're making up scenarios that it's. It, guys, we don't look at it like that, man. Right. I know you. I know everybody at this table. We don't live with hate in our heart, man. No. We're not perfect. None of us no. here are perfect. Uh-uh. Wait, wait. But, I am. Yeah, well, maybe, maybe <laughs> Lewis a little bit. Maybe Lewis a little bit. I but, know that beard is right. No, it's amazing. It's so soft. It's so soft. <laughs> but, but honest to God, man, we're we're in Looks this like together. Looks like a nice hamster. <laughs> <laughs> all I'm saying is we're known as the label that runs beneath the streets. Well, let's be the ones that bring peace beneath the streets. Wow. How about that? Hey, Amen. Okay? Right, nice. Let's be that okay, one. I'll give you that. Yeah. Right. Up above, they don't like us anyways. All we got is these ourselves down here, man. That's right. And All right? I would say one more thing is this is a wonderful opportunity for juggalos across the board, even if you weren't involved in the fighting. Let's look at ourselves and see how we can be better and grow as a community that's from this. That's it. Yeah. Hey, what's up with that 17 you rolled there? <laughs> let's go. Let's get it. Yeah. Because, damn it, right. it was something magical that I seen when I came down that elevator after waiting a half hour to get on it um, (laughs) coming downstairs into that atrium the following morning because you couldn't stop the dcg con right regardless (laughs) it just got moved into another room is what really happened right they yeah so the hotel basically agreed some juggalos went and talked to the speak on that if you go ahead yes yes so here's what happened i was there with my friends we were gaming it was way early in the morning, way past my bedtime. I was just getting ready to go to bed. Like 5 a.m. Yep. <laughs> and, and some friends of mine, Adam and Janet, thank you, Adam and Janet, Woo-hoo. came down with this paper in their hands. And they walk up with this look on their face. They were like, dude, is this true? And I looked at it, and my heart sank. I was like, dude, I don't know, but I'm about to find out. So I walked over to the desk. The lady wouldn't even look me in the eye. She could see I was wrecked. I was like, ma'am, is this true? And she was like, yes, it is. I immediately called up to Rob and Rachel's room. Obviously, you were super busy running interference up there, so Rachel came down. She talked to me, called me down, said, Lewis, we've got to get gaming going now. We've got to get this lobby set up. We've got to start getting gaming now. Let Ninja see we're not going to stop. So that's when me, Andy, Sarah, Eric Elvigan, his buddy Bob, we just stood there running interference. As people came down, we started telling them, hey, look, the hotel said the common area is ours. The rooms are ours. What we're going to try to do is if ninjas will donate their rooms to us, we're going to try to have the tournaments in their rooms. Right. And that's what we were going to do. We were going to hold the tournaments in the rooms. Right, yeah. And so we started going (laughs) around after that. People were happy to come down and start gaming. Then we all had to go work to tear down. Mm. While we did that, Eric Elvigan went and talked to the people and got those two rooms for the tournaments for us. I did not realize he wow. Yes, I did not realize he did that for us. Mm. And the rest is history. After tearing down, I looked at Rob's like Rob, Andy and I still want to run the tournaments. Can we? Rob was like, Yeah, sure, go ahead. I was like, man, but all the prizes are packed away. And you said, Hold on. He had a pack of the foil cards, gave me said, There you go, you got a prize. Wow. (laughs) We thought we were good with we we thought we were good with that. Right. Juggalos found out. Next thing we know, uh, Hanka from Fagel Lovers brought us a bunch of stuff. Uh, Dustin or Hazan, I don't know. Or Hazen, he, Hazen. 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 Yeah. I was like Hazan. Oh, no. we have like the sorry, Indian. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Snake no. caller. <laughs> Hazan is way fresher than Oh, my Hazen. God. He is totally Hazan. No, he's Hazan forever. Hazan. Right. Oh, crap. <laughs> the, the mystical Hazan. <laughs> well, well, then he started donating stuff. Then Tom Wood donated art. Then Joey donated a bunch. Next thing we knew, ninjas were just bringing stuff in left and right, saying, look, we want to have these tournaments. We yeah. need prizes. Here's prizes. The thing that I shocked me the most 
is when the guy came in and took his charm off his chain, laid it down and said, there, that's a prize. Wow. That's so beautiful. The charm wow. off his <laughs> neck. And right. you guys seen them out in the prizes. That's because he was like, fuck this, I'm out. I ain't <laughs> coming back to this shit. No shit. Here, take this shit. shit. I'm out of here. Not well, true. then, it's not true. Hatter and Megan and Ken Huff went around and said, look, if the Echo Side's happening, Shangri-La's got to happen. And they went around because that was Hatter's thing. He was yeah. running. Mm. They got even more prizes donated for theirs. I wish nice. I had the pictures on me. Right. Uh, and, yeah, I've seen it. We, we, me, me and Rachel came through. Oh, man, when Rachel came so in, many I felt tears. so bad because <laughs> Rachel, yeah, man. So oh, my tears. God, yes. Because yeah. we had – well, I had just um, – I had bottled it all up dealing with the hotel staff and the police. And yeah, all like this. we're we're dealing with the other end of it. We're breaking everything down. Yeah. We're making we're making Sweating. trips to FedEx to ship shit <laughs> right. out. So we it's like done. we come back and it's like it's, the whole thing is just it's popping. Still it's going. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, and we're like <laughs> rooms open. <laughs> fucking uh the, the hotel d- uh, donated a couple of rooms yes. to run tournaments in there. And I'm like, what the fuck? Why did they shut it down? Right. Why? <laughs> Right. It's so accommodating. What the fuck? Man? Exactly. Like, why yeah. they shut it down? It's still going on. Well, me, you, me, no, me and suits oh, didn't like it, but me, the workers did. Me and Joe, me and Joe Bruce came downstairs together, and we were like, "I thought it was shut down." Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> they're they're playing full around outside. Yeah. Of shit. Yeah. 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 There's, there's at least a hundred ninjas smoking weed right outside the yeah. front. Uh-huh. Yeah. Just powwowing out front. You know yep. what I'm saying? It's just like this is crazy. Hey, shout out to Denver, man. Yeah. yeah. Best yeah, thing ever a, passing that dude. law. Oh, oh yeah. Damn insane. it. You better pass it here in Michigan yep. if right. you want to get paid. <laughs> right. If you want to get paid. We went to the dispensary and I was blown away by it, man. Yeah, I really was. Right. And, and and I talked to the locals and they were like, Man, our economy ain't never been this high ever right. financially. Yeah. Right, no doubt. <laughs> So do right. yourself a favor, Rick But Schneider. just watching all these people donate all those prizes out of the goodness of their heart. I kept telling everybody, usually when I'm a psychopathic, I'm out there, I'm working. In the background, as you guys know, you see me Driving on the first the half of the Great yeah. Medical uh-huh. Tour. At the gathering last year was the first time I got to see ICP from the front and got my Fago shower. And the fact that Joe and Joey noticed me in the crowd was touching enough. I thought I got it then. Yeah. Right. I finally get it at this gathering. I understand this ink that is on my arm. Yep. I don't know if anybody can SS see this. Family. Yeah. I finally get this ink I've been wearing. I yeah. finally get it. To watch all of them come together with the love and just, hey, you ain't shutting us down. Yeah. We don't need that big room that Rob and Rachel busted their rear ends for, which have been dope as hell to have. Right. All we needed was some rooms in us. Yeah. That's happened. right. That's I think right. we all exactly. learned a lot. Yeah. Huh? You know, it, yeah. it, it's the whole thing, like uh, Lewis was saying, and, and I've been saying, like the, the whole Whoville thing, you know what I yep. mean? Like for the Grinch that stole Christmas, right. he comes in there and takes everything away. They fucking come out and they fucking party anyway. Right. They don't need none it of that shit. It don't matter. It's it don't all matter. they need is each other, man. All we need. Is our family? That's it. You know, I, you could take everything away as long as we still have our family. We're good. I'm you know telling I mean? you that night, uh, sitting with that juggalette, God, I wish I could remember her name because she played piano beautifully. Yes. And 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 um, sitting there and and just being with the juggalos and us having this sing along and stuff, it didn't matter what happened. Yeah. It didn't right. matter. Yeah. We were enjoying ourselves regardless. Right. I'm sitting there playing my game. Right. Yeah. I was like, damn, Re- where'd he go? Regardless <laughs> of the bone. Yeah. yeah. And, and we found the new venue. Like I said, uh, Scum and LSP, yeah. they looked out. We had the new venue at the yep. Roxy. We now, did the whoa. concert with fucking Max Sabbath. Now, let's Sabbath talk about Max it. Sabbath, everybody. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, I hear they, they were, were great. fucking great, man. Yeah. I, set, I set out the whole fucking <laughs> yep. show. Yep. And they were schooling me the whole fucking yeah. show <laughs> with all the fucking props now. <laughs> Stop. The dude barbecued dude, and shit. Dude pulled, pulled out a yeah. straw the that straw. had to be eight feet long out of his <laughs> pants. Out of his drawers, dog. I don't know how the fuck he did it, but I was I was blown away the whole show, man. I told you. I was, you, like, I they told were you. great. I, I was uh, the whole time. Carlito and I were backstage. We're like. What do you think, man? And Carlito was like, you know they're going to kill it. Rob's going to love it. Rob's going to. Because we've been telling you for years. No, no, yeah. Finally, you got to see it for yourself. (laughs) And when you came backstage after their performance, I just gave you that look like. Yeah, exactly. Come on, man. (laughs) Come on. I gave you that look like, damn it, fucking gathering. Right. 100%. Keep your mind. 
Yeah. Keep in mind, too, how hard Rob is to convince because both Rudy and myself, unbeknownst <laughs> to the other, <laughs> right. in-depth testimonials to Rob. I know no, hold on, hold on. You're talking about Max Sabbath. We've been trying to get them. I yeah. told you that for the okay, last couple okay. of years. They, ju they just always been booked or whatever, doing something else. You know what I mean? Well, hopefully yeah. this year they'll be able to do it because I'm going to say this, and, and I'm not being biased at all. Every fucking juggalo that was in the house that night online have praised those guys and got great, video man. and they shit were great. they're like that shit if, whether you like that type yeah. of music or not you were fully entertained they for were that the hour. ultimate they're oh, the ultimate insane. entertainers yep. that's what right. they are they're yep. inner fucking tainers man right right great show man right. okay right. well getting back to what i was saying about that whole thing yeah let's not forget a he huge, said fuck Max Sabbath. A, <laughs> no, no, not fuck Max Sabbath, but a, <laughs> what an encore. Shit. A huge, right. huge shout out to fuck Andy Sherman. Fuck your tattoo, man. Yeah. For everything that Andy Sherman did. Oh, we love did. you, Andy. Yeah. For yeah. us. Yeah. Yep. No doubt. For making Andy's sure the these Echo Side terminals and everything yeah. happened. Yeah, Andy's that the man. Best. Game Master Andy. Yep, Game Master Andy, yeah. Uh, you know, Thanks I, to him and Rachel for making the uh, theme song for the DCG Con. <laughs> the Game Master. I don't know if y'all heard it. And Greasy. But I don't know if y'all heard it, but it was great. You know, and, and then getting back to that little girl, that this was the highlight for me of the yeah. whole tournament. After I watched her in the tournament in the room, I'm just coming down the hallway, and she comes up to me and says, "Are you Mr. Happy?" And I was like, "Yeah, yeah." <laughs> and she goes, "Will you play me an Echo Side?" And I was like, wow, because I knew who she was. And basically, yeah. it's like, here's this little girl calling me out. Calling out the right. champ, cool, man. And so she don't play games. And that's name, cool. That's Caitlin yeah. Schiller. She we was ready. Played. Oh, yeah. man. She was ready. She let, was like, let's do it. Let's let me go. tell you. Have a seat. I won, but 31 to 29. Wow. Oh, yes. Shit. Wow. This girl read every card, knew every card word for word. Wow. Knew how to play it. I'm telling you, next year, she's going to be a force. Oh, I see her winning. I see her winning next year. You know, one one thing I really love about uh, Andy is like he's so into the fucking games. Like, yeah. He's our I mean? number yeah. one fan. Yeah, yeah. like hundred percent. He's, he's yeah. like like whenever you see a gamer to that level, I I, I instantly have a love for them. You know what I yeah. mean? Because that's how I am, as you know. Exactly, how we are exactly. with games. We fucking love games. Uh, it's not it's the competition, but it's the enjoyment, the camaraderie of sitting around a table with friends and schooling it, entering yeah. this fantasy realm and fucking using the tactics and all that. And he gets it. He man. gets yeah. it 100 yeah. percent. Yeah. He you is know, so, great. Yeah, that's like awesome. But it, but yeah, so it, it all came together. We did the concert, you know, what I'm saying and, 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 and the, the con went out for those that yeah. stayed around. There was there was a lot of ninjas that left. They're was, like, oh, it's canceled. Yeah, They're heading home. Yeah. Yep. But man, did you miss out? Because oh, I know. Like, yes. I, like ninjas kept coming up to me and they were like, man, this is like the greatest yeah. event ever. Yep. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because, because, of, how it, because, because, of, how because of how it panned out. Yep. You know, we There's got no to see, quit. There's no we got to see what it was. You know, we yeah. got to see how it was meant to be. Yeah. Then we did the concert. The thing was cancer, heartbroken. Yeah. yeah. And then all of a sudden for it to fucking rise out of the ashes like a phoenix. Yeah. Man. And it to be so fucking over. Ninjas were buying fucking pizzas for yep. everybody yeah. Yeah. Yes. Ogre. Yeah. coming in just Ogre. whatever everybody yeah. just yeah. chipping in in yeah. every yeah. way they could you talk, know talk about uh juggalo resilience the yacht club when you guys were able to move the concert on saturday night the yacht club rented like a 40 person party bus yes. i was on that bitch it was lit pocket to run people back <laughs> to run yeah. people back and yeah. forth Beautiful. from, the, from yep. the venue two, actually two uh shuttle, yeah. shuttle bus. And they, they, they didn't yeah. ask for anything and juggalos were throwing money at them like no nah, man you're not taking this on you're fuck. Yeah, I, right. I whipped out i was like there's no way there's you, these juggalos are going to let you guys pay for the whole thing, you the, know? Like, the Yacht Club also ran their You Sunk My Battle Yacht tournament yep. yes, and yes. gave the winner a ticket to the it's gathering amazing. of the juggalos. Yes. Yeah, right. there was no backing awesome. out. And you know Zane's used to getting money thrown at him right. before he works. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> of course. That's so, like Town Titty Bar. Yeah. So you asked ninjas about how the con went down, and yeah. you'll, you'll get different re reactions. You know, you're all so great, but then it got canceled. And it, but if the ninjas stayed the whole fucking time, yeah. You ask any one of those ninjas who were there, and it was straight magic. Rob, it, yep. it cannot be duplicated. No, no. It, will it will never, never be, duplicated. be never. It will never, never be duplicated. If you weren't there again. and you didn't stick it out, yeah, you'll never understand so it what up, really happened. Right, it ended up being one of the most beautiful things of ever. Ever, you know, period. And, it uh, was beautiful when that Juggalo, had, when, when Juggalo Ben climbed the waterfall. <laughs> oh, my God. And showed, and that showed his butt. butt from the top of the waterfall. Oh, it was <laughs> tears to your eyes. It was just so joyous. <laughs> the funniest part was he and forgot how to get down. And then you wonder why they wanted us out of there. <laughs> That's right. 
<laughs> Gee, I don't know. <laughs> the thing was, it went on for like a almost Lion a half moment. hour. Not one hotel person yeah. saw it. I don't yeah. understand it. <laughs> no, they, they see. It. They just didn't want to look anymore. Have you seen Ben's ass? That thing is hairy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you? Who's gonna? Who's the guard? That's fuck. Nobody's getting paid that much to go up and grab that hairy <laughs> ass and bring it down. Anyway, I have I have one ninja. Uh, he made a comment about it when it when it was all done and said. Um, I, I don't want to give his name because I don't, I, I don't I don't know if he wants to be put on blast like that. But he was like, man, he was like, this has been the greatest event of all the events I've been yeah. to. I've been to eleven gatherings. Combine all those together. Yeah, this has been the greatest event I've ever been to. Yeah, wow, bar none. And not only because of the what happened, like what transpired, yeah. how the juggalos yeah. uplifted out of yeah. the ashes, but because I got to bring my kids yeah. Yeah. and have yep. so much fun with my children at this yeah. event, side by side, right along with them, yep. playing with them, being here in this event, doing this. He was like, it was just the greatest shit ever of I, all time. I'm just you saying, know? man, you, I don't know any other convention on this planet. Where if the convention hall says, "Hey, shut time to go home," yeah. they right. pack up and go. <laughs> no. Juggalos, you've got you've got a shitload of us trapped in Denver, all with each other. You think we're just right. gonna sit around with our thumbs up our ass and, and right. hike? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 man. Like I, I thought that morning when I saw the letter, I was devastated, and I was like, you know what? Time to fucking put on the mask, go out there, at least try to fucking make people happy. I get out of my hotel room, I walk around the fountain. And I'm like, every fucking table is full. And they're playing board games. <laughs> I'm, and they're like, hey, what up? What up, Keegan? What up? And it's like, what the? Well, hold on a second. I I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm proofreading the thing. I'm like, is it canceled or is it not? Yeah, what? that's what that's what I thought. That's what I, I, said. I'm like, I did. I was like, did, did they we just, just lose the hall? Right. right. Yeah. Did they just say, you know, okay, you guys can do it, but do it over here. Yeah. yeah. Take down that wrestling ring. It, right. <laughs> right. So what? We lost a room. I, I, I don't yeah. understand how we lost. Uh, yeah, you know, no, no. but but the jugglers that stayed around. I was supposed to run the uh, the finals for the Mario Kart tournament. And I, the trophy was packed up. I'm like, I, I don't, I don't have a fucking. We don't have the big TVs, you know. So Juggalos come up to me and they're like, Hey man, you still doing the Mario Kart tournament? I'm like, I, I don't got TVs. They're like, oh, I just asked the bartender if we can use that TV over there. They said we can. And I was like, <laughs> All right. I'm like, I'm like, well, all right. I'm like, let me go to my room, man. I got a, my 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 Nintendo's packed up. I'll go get it. They're like, Where do you got one set up? We got the game loaded up. They're like, We're just waiting for you to give us the official. It's on. Nice. And I'm like. So I go over here. I go, all right, 3 o'clock, let's all meet up here. So I get there, 245, thinking we'll help set up, tidy up. There's 40 people sitting in this lobby yeah. by the bar. You've seen it. Yeah, it we Mario Karted for four hours, even when people got knocked <laughs> yeah, out. It was they're just sitting there like, Dude. I was like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> and, then, and, and the winner got a chance to play me, and he didn't beat me. Like, right, I called. Yeah. He ain't going to beat me. <laughs> but he's still, I, I'm here right now. I called I called you, Rob, last night. This is why yeah, I yeah. called. And I said, I got to go pick up that trophy. This guy's going to kick my ass if I don't mail it out to him. <laughs> he just sat four hours and ran the gauntlet. Right. He wants his fucking trophy, Rob. But look, so, that's what I'm saying, man. These guys played four hours yeah. at a fucking bar. Yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> Instead yeah. of just letting yeah. them be in that fucking convention room. I couldn't believe it. Uh, yeah, don't. I, the I falling outside, it. like, right? there, was, there was other people, like, <laughs> business people walking in. Right. And you got people, like, whoop, whoop, like, spilling Fago on themselves. And, like, yeah. is this the fucking, is this the Crown <laughs> Plaza? The <fucking laughs> and then, it's sure the enough, like, the the, the, uh, the Reno Riders, they're like, man, you, you know, you and Glow, we got Team Sex Files. You guys want to play a game? Get in on the tournament? I'm like, fuck, we don't got shit to do. Right. So we start playing. Me and Glow are now the 2018 Fularama champs. <laughs> we brought the gold back to Psychopathic. You will see it next week here at the Sex Files. So, uh, you know, th we're not to be fucked with either, okay? We, right. We're gamers too, man. <laughs> you can't beat the Mario Kart champ. I will right. fuck you up in Foling. They got you in Echo Side. This, yeah. These two will school you at the casino and sorry. Well, no, you know no, no. Like, actually, actually, we'll just school you in drinking alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll all school everybody we, that. We, we crushed everybody Friday night when all the <laughs> shit went down. I we heard like, about your guys' parties up in the like, room. We fuck it, let's just party. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's over. What, what, whatever. I'm in my room banging on the ceiling with my broom. Like, turn it on, Rudy. I'm trying to fucking sleep. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, we did a love train to all the rooms. Oh my right. God, All the rooms, right. we did a love train. Ding, ding, ding. Come on, join us. Yeah. 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 And we just oh, went fresh. floor to floor. It was so oh, much seen, fun. We've seen the Morton's List crew. They were playing some crazy shit in there. Oh, yeah. Ooh, they were going they had the, yeah. uh, the human snake. And everybody was looking down. They couldn't and they were walking through and random rooms of the hotel. All slow motion. <laughs> I remember, uh, yeah, I seen this couple checking in. It was it was an older couple, <laughs> no, you know, with their like with their child, and they were Man. just their slack jaw. Yeah. Their jaw was just like. <laughs> 
And I'm looking at them, looking at the Morris List crew. It's so hilarious, man. They just were stuck for like two minutes. Just like, <laughs> what am I looking oh at? Oh, my God. That's what I'm Our Uber driver, we went to go see some shit. They bring us back, and all the jugglers are out in that parking lot. Just She wouldn't even pull up to it. I'm like, ah, I, I get it. Don't worry about it. We'll walk, you know. Knock 50 cents off the ride. I'll fucking hike. Okay, so check this out, man. Um, Demo jams. Oh, shit. Hold on, hold on. Oh. I, I, I want <laughs> I one, one last thing. One last thing. We're going to get the demo jams. I mean. Uh, the very end, like, what what day was it when we played Echo Side? It was. Uh, Sunday night. Sunday night. It was Sunday yeah. night. The we crown had, of all crowns. We had to I roll out because we had to take the truck back. Right. Uh, all the, the way to Detroit. And uh, unload, like, loading up the truck, it was it was a little bit heartbreaking. Like, loading all that stuff up. But I was so happy that at least Ninjas got to see it for a day. Yeah. Just yeah. one day. Yep. Yeah, at least it didn't get canceled before yep. like ninjas even saw it. You know what I'm right. saying? So at least there was that. Um, but we loaded up the truck, and, and and I was looking at Rachel, and I was looking at everybody gaming, having fun. You know, we always working. Right. We're like, fuck it, man. We got to get one game in before right. we go. <laughs> right. And we got a you chance. have to. We got a chance to sit down and play Echo Side with the Oracle expansion, with the Gambits. It was me, Rachel, Lewis. Andy and Sarah, five-player game. And Vinny was there. He was just chilling. Vinny, Vinny, Vinny was, was everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Vinny, had, that was his. He was everywhere. We I love Vinny. We had a lot of ninjas spectating, and then we had ninjas handing up pizza and pop the whole time yeah. we're playing. They ordered like 30 you know pizzas. I mean? That yeah. ogre yeah. guy, he had to go to three different places because he ran two of them out of pizza dough. Yeah. Wow. Can you, yes. How do you run out of pizza dough? I'm like, yeah, are we just having a slumber party the whole weekend in the plot, <laughs> like in the fuck it, we'll do it. Over 30 pizzas yeah. and all the pop for everybody. Yeah. So Shout cool. out to Ogre. Thank yep. you so Thank much. You. But I'm just so thankful that we got a chance to get one yes. game. Yeah. One game. The entire con, at least mm-hmm. one And I felt game. honored yeah. it was with us. I felt yeah. it was the core Echo Side crew minus cool. Tom. Minus it was Tom. There. I love just watching it. Right. It was standing back. It was a perfect ending. Yeah. And the first time that I actually played with the new expansion, the actual crew. Who won, by the way? Rob. Oh, you, oh, you dirty bird. <laughs> you fucking that cool. That's why you loved it so much. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, no, if that's Lewis that's won it, it wouldn't made his top five. Hey. The fuck? Hey. <laughs> If Lewis wanted, we would be doing demo jams right now. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great moment, though. Yes, yeah, it, was. it was. Gaming with friends in the middle of our family, like, awesome, man. Yeah. Fucking Nothing better. Perfect ending Nothing for me. better. Oh, man, yeah. All right, so let's go to, let's go to a, a, a break, and when we get back, we're going to kind of reset. But I wanted to thank everybody yes. uh, that came out to the con yes. for thank you making to all it our staff. for making it such a wonderful event. All the volunteers, the game masters, and of course our crew, our staff were fucking phenomenal. Yep. They were all level ten ninjas, schooling it to the fucking utmost. Yep. Uh, to put all that together, um, it, it was just a beautiful event, man. One that I'll never forget, and I know nobody else will too. <laughs> especially if you've Definitely. seen it all the way to the end, for the good and the bad. Fucking show love, man. Yeah. Everybody, even those crews that are fighting, are a family, man. They yeah, are you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they, they regret what happened. Just fucking forgive, man, and move on. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, like, give them a second chance because they deserve it. Uh, you know, like I said, they're like the bad uncle, the, the drunk <laughs> uncle at the yeah. pu- art, the picnic ruining it for everybody for a minute. <laughs> or Rudy but they're walking good. in drunk. <laughs> right, right, right. But they're fucking good. They're good. They've all been down ass yeah. juggalos from the start. And and fucking let it go, man. Like like like, please, man. You know, like if you don't like a band, you don't yeah. like anybody, you don't like us. Just stop talking about us. That's yeah. the most damage yeah. you could ever do. Yep. You know what I mean? 100%. Just don't come to the shows. Pure and simple. You don't yeah. like it? Just yeah. don't come. That's Leave right. fucking Bon Jovi no. alone. <laughs> right. Put <laughs> well, your energy alone. on what you do like, man. <laughs> One yes. last thing. Hashtag. For Juggalos, by Juggalos. It's All coming. Day. It's All coming. Day. Hashtag Harry Bubble Hole on the Top of a Waterfall. <laughs> don't He's hashtag that. Around. I don't want to see those posts. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> don't do it. Right. Hashtag Demo Jams. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying. So when we come back, we're going to hit up the Demo Jams to find out who the final two uh, artists that are going to be in the, the semifinals, if you will, which will make our top eight. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. So and we can start breaking them down then. Yes. Ooh-wee. All right, so we're going to go to a break. We'll see you in a minute. Mad Ooh, love. Yes. Always. Yes. Peace out. Can't be denied. Can't be denied. Can't be denied. Can't be denied. More pretty than a pinup girl. Long, thin, shiny. She my whole world. Has the power to bring me up when I'm down. Take a smile and turn into a bloody frown. But wait, there's more. Listen for a second. She'll take Curve, backside, serrated, slice, close, but I leave you naked, hands tied, tight, bone. 
You sure? 17 bodies confirmed from West Jefferson to Michigan Avenue over the last two weeks. What do you want to do? We wait for our moment and we move.
Fuck your cool rhymes, they're mighty shitty. Had to shut them down. Several fine times with glitter titties outside. Stuck around, pull off this thong, that thong, thong after thong, till dawn is on. My song, I direct this stage, my click we raise. I flip that bump drum, now hit that bass. Check it, no, I don't sip, but take a bit to the face. And I'm a pimp, shit, I fuck any bitch in the place. It's a lifestyle, life's a wild child. Hashtag All right, we're back right here on the uh, Juggalo Show. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here, hey, hey, Psychopathic TV before, up in this bitch. Before we get into the uh, demo jams, I want to uh, I want to know who saw that fucking fresh ass Infinity Wars. Oh yeah, so bro. No. Let's. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I was Stop fucking it. schooled. Stop I was it. so fucking schooled by that movie. It's wonderful. I had no idea what to expect. Yep. Have you seen this? No. Oh, shit, man. Deadpool Listen, 2 tomorrow. It, it's, yeah, it's, that's what I'm yes, waiting for. Yes. It's, okay, no. look at it. Infinity Wars is the battle royale, the WrestleMania of all the fucking, uh, you know, superhero movies that were ever put yeah. out. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? Marvel, it's, like, yeah. it's like the grand finale, if you will. I highly recommend if you haven't seen this movie. Fucking check However, it out. However, I did see Overboard, which was really good. Was that it a good one? The remake? Fuck yeah, it was. Okay, Damn, yeah, that's, that's a remake. Was. Yeah, that's a I remake. I loved it, yeah. man. That, the original was Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell, Russell that's yeah, why I wanted to see yeah. it. Okay, I swear good. to God. Right, yeah. that, and they switched the sexes because yeah, Goldie Hawn was the bitch in the that's first right, one. That's right. Got to look at that. Yeah. See the new wallet? The Infinity oh, War, baby. Shit. I'm a five year old. I fucking traded in the Leather Boy for a fucking Thanos gauntlet. That movie, beginning to end, you're on the edge of your seat. You're like, this is fucking great. I cried. I cried. Villain was fucking awesome, and to yep. see all those characters brought together in one film, even the ninjas from Guardian of the Galaxy, Dude. I was just, oh, I was wow. like, yes. <laughs> chills, bro, chills. I know, man, it was just like great, man. Part two, I can't yeah. wait. And yeah. just when I was getting played out by superhero movies, yep. I was so played out until yep. that movie. Marvel's hit. on one now, though, man. Now I'm like in love yeah. with it again. Now, now, now I want to go back and watch them all again. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you what, I seen yeah. a, a trailer for um, the movie uh, Ant Man and, and, the and the Wasp. Yeah, that looks good too. Man, yeah. I was like. Like, damn, they're just yeah. throwing out movies they left. They can't stop. They, right. they can't stop, man. Yeah. Well, Infinity Wars is like first week was over a billion. A it, billion, it's, yeah. it's on its yeah. way to become the the highest grossing film yeah. of all time. I got it on my damn. fire stick. I think I'm going to yeah. watch it. Tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch <laughs> there we it. go. I'm watching it. It's, gr- it's yeah. that good, Rudy. It's really? Yeah. Good. really? Yes. Yeah. You've, all, you've always. Yeah, put I'll, me in the right direction. Right, yeah. Fucking watch it. Yeah. Which, by the way, which, by the way, um, um, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. is the oh greatest fucking yes. show ever. Thank you. Yeah, you're Thank you are Oh, you just started welcome. watching it. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I just, love that I show. I just started oh, watching God. it a oh, month my ago. God. Damn, I haven't. And after the yet. show, we got to oh. talk about that, man. It's too much. And you get it because of your ties for exactly. Yeah. Right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I'm like, why haven't I been watching this? Carlito said that he was. He came to my house the other day. He was like, why haven't you been watching right. this? Like, <laughs> it yeah. just doesn't make any it's fucking so sense. Yeah. Demo jams. Demo <laughs> jams. There we go. Demo jams. The, 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 right. the, the demo jams. So currently in the listing, we have six competitors that are semifinalists. We have Neutral DeLarge, Razor Blade Real, Opie the Animal, The Outliers, 1031, and Catacombs Beautiful. are all the top finalists right now. We have room for two more, which will leave it with eight. 
Those eight will then battle to, to with each other with round two, and that will be whittled down to four, then two, and then finally there will only be one victor who will win the spot. They will get to uh, perform at this year's gathering of the Juggalos on the pendulum stage at night and get two tickets to the gathering as well. Oh, wow. yeah. Wow. Damn. Oh, so it's the, ulti- the ultimate prize, yep. if you will. And there have been. And you know, you, you hear that prize, right, Keegan? Yeah. Did you hear that prize? Oh, yeah. How I dope heard. all that sounds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you wouldn't believe some of the <laughs> shit that's been sent to this <laughs> office. <laughs> you wouldn't believe yeah. we could we couldn't even get oh. through a round last time. Hold up, but these these six are are legit artists. Yeah. These six that have made it in are all legit artists. Let's do it. So this is gonna be yeah. the toughest two two rounds. Yeah, we got. We, yep. So, okay. Uh, so what it is is we listen to. Oh, you yeah, know, I know how it works. I, I watch just, the show. I'm just letting ninjas yeah, yeah. know that might not know. Gotcha. We listen to three artists we listen to one one track from three different artists and then we discuss amongst each other who we like the best yeah and they're the winner of that round looks like we've lost kg finals. tonight yeah i was good. gonna say i mean he just he just bounced out hashtag <laughs> Sorry, where's kg, KG? Hey, right. he's like man fuck he passed <laughs> out <laughs> oh, yeah. all right nick nobody's talking to me damn it <laughs> all right nick let's hit it let's uh, who do we got up, f- up first first up we got scribble with a k from california and the track is called Don't Doubt Me. All right. Check it out. Don't Doubt Me. Yeah, I swag like a python. I circulate the cipher like a cyclone regulator. Flip the fucking mic on. Flash this paper I use to write rhymes on. Devastator, a walking fucking detonator. With enough power to leave a coward on a respirator. I read the data, it made me fucking sick. All you rappers cashing in the checks and sucking dick, huh? Yeah, cause I ain't on that dumb shit. Lil Uzi on that swallow with some calm shit. Yelling jokes to the folks out here that run shit. Stay away from LA Paul, we want kids. Call me Pennywise, pull you in the sewer. Feast on the fresh me, holla fucking low ya. Execute the evil to one and spin control. Pull the strings and watch me go. go. No time to waste, I gotta find my place. I gotta put those in check who fuck with me. I lost my mind today, I don't know why I pray. I gotta forge the bed to my destiny. Oh shit! <laughs> Keegan, honestly, I thought it was pretty fucking dope. I mean, I know you guys listen to a lot, and all, but me, I thought that was he had he had some good shit in there. I thought Rachel. I want to hear his competitor. The flow was okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, the voice was a little like this. <laughs> but, I mean, that's the rap voice, isn't it? Is that Grimy. Dis- is that disrespectful? Am I allowed to say that? You can uh, say whatever yeah, you want. say what yeah, you feel. Right. Well, yeah, there's yeah. that. Lewis? I thought the flow was going all right a little bit. I was feeling it. Yeah. Carlito, I know you didn't get to hear none of it because you're not a part of this show. <laughs> oh, he can't even get no fucking love on the camera. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> shit. Yeah, I'm calling have it him, out. Have him sit over shit. on this side. Anyways, yeah, a anyways uh, that dude, um, uh, it, uh, it was good. I, it was good, but it wasn't nothing I ain't heard before. A million I, okay. times. Okay, I, I I really liked it. Yeah, I was I was feeling it. Yeah, I was able to groove to it. Yeah. I liked the fucking flow. I liked the fucking voice, the grimy ass voice. It reminded me almost like a New York style of rap, like that that cold tempo, and I was fucking feeling it, and I loved it. New York. That's my opinion. And that's my honesty right there. <laughs> New, New York. I would bump that shit in a car. I would not turn that. If I wow. heard it, I would want to hear more, just like I did now. I wanted yeah. to keep it. It played playing. a little longer, yeah. Scribble, you got a thumbs up by yep. me. That's all Same I'm here. saying. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> next, let's yeah. move on. <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> ne- next is Skippy Ickum. Skippy Ickum. That is a dope name right from the get. <laughs> uh, from where? Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Oh, you already lost me there. No, uh, Steelers Town, baby. I'm, I'm sick to my stomach already now. Steel City. What's the, uh, what's the song? The track is called Almost Famous. Almost. Uh-huh. Almost. That, that about sums it up. <laughs> Pittsburgh. Did you stop it. Will I see ya 
What is up with sucking cock? <laughs> Damn, it's out of control. You haven't experienced it? These kids, these kids today. today. It's overrated. <laughs> I mean, every rapper well, is some. Uh, they got lyrics about sucking cock. Yeah, that's where it's at, man. Street cred. All right, we got we got to play it a little longer because we've been talking over. Do we really have to? Yeah, no, this is dope. I really think it is dope, though. Yeah. yeah. Spoiler alert. I'm gonna start with this one since <laughs> I went last on the on the last on the last one. On, uh, okay, so the one thing the one thing that bothered me about the only thing that really bothered me about this was the the singing. Like you know, I, I, I'm I'm like somebody that like okay, if you're gonna sing your own hooks, that's fine. But like, it wasn't like spotless. You know, it was like it was kind of grating on you a little bit as you're hearing him do his singing. It like, seemed forced. I, yeah, like I, I'm, I'm, I'm a big component of like get somebody that can actually sing to sing the hook. You know what I mean? Don't, don't try it yourself unless you can actually sing. You he know? said that to me before. I was like, damn. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. <laughs> that's just me. You know, yeah. like get somebody that can kill it. You know, with the yeah, singing. Right now, as far as the actual flow, again, the, the, the sucking the dick all the time. Like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, God, everybody. It seems like uh, there's, no, there's nothing wrong with it, but everybody <laughs> seems to be rapping about that same <laughs> from subject. a woman's perspective. It's played the fuck out. Yeah. yeah anyway, uh, but his flow from a woman who don't like to do it. Yeah, <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude. Shots, shots. But oh, his flow, okay. Dope. Mm -hmm. Like I liked it again. I, I did, yeah. man. I didn't see yeah. anything wrong with it. I know. I thought it was I, I like I'm hearing. I'm hearing fucking music right I, now. I, yeah. Actually, 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 I'm I'm with you on the on the the singing of the hook. Yeah. Because for me, I was like, oh. You're right. But then when I started hearing, you know, the the actual flow, I thought the flow was good, but I couldn't follow it because I kept hearing about sucking cock, <laughs> and, and not not that there's nothing wrong yeah. with it, but I hear it so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's like every time we do a demo jam. You can bet your ass at least <laughs> one competitor <laughs> in the last few times has talked about that same uh, thing. So I kind of got lost on the... Uh, we, we, you know what needs to happen from here on out in the demo jams? If we hear anything about sucking <laughs> cock, we need to all blow up. Like, oh, 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 yeah. From here on out. And nothing but a pop. Uh, yeah, it's well, like Pee we, Wee's we need uh, the pop. secret word. We need the pop. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Uh, but yeah, but like uh, I, I, I liked it though, man. But again... Like what was he actually saying? Like you know what I mean? Like right. like both the the, the rapper before uh, Scribble and, and, and Skippy, you know, there there there's not a lot of super content like they, to really you know sink your teeth into. But their flow was fucking great. Like I I, I enjoyed it. I, I liked him. I thought it was yeah. cool. All right, what do you it guess? wasn't an annoying voice either when he was rapping. No, no, it was which good. just I'm not to take a quick cop out, but I I just agree with what we've been talking about, and I honestly thought it was pretty pretty dope. I, I will say, me, I'm with you on the singing, um, but I didn't think it was that bad. Like, it's I don't like not, when they add all the electronic yeah. stuff to the singing. Sure, it's sure. Like, yeah. Let's hear your voice. I, I just, I thought, like, I, there definitely yeah. could use some work, but hey, man, I, I respect someone who can switch it up like that to go to the slow, to the fast chop, and the. You know, the singing wasn't terrible. I'm right. Not, I'm not saying yeah, it was yeah, terrible, no, but it was yeah. bad enough that it took you out of the song. Sure, it's, it's, sure. Like you're I said, like, you're it like, it seemed uh, forced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it takes you out of the song. It, like, grates at your ear a little bit. Just a little bit, but enough to take you out of the song right, where you're right. just like oh and i'm like rudy man. i'm a, I'm a, a steel town boy here so just because he's from pittsburgh i gotta give him a little extra thumbs up there uh, so. uh -huh. <laughs> same thing ben roethlisberger enjoy got, your right? one enjoy your one, one. rachel what, what'd you <laughs> think one right that? up his culo 
<laughs> is KG back or is he going? No, KG uh, has he passed left out. The building. Wow. He has KG, left KG the building. was like, I quit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, drop the mic. Um, Skippy or Scribble? I'm gonna go with Scribble. Surely, in terms of like, Hold on, we're, 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 we're not, we're not, not there at that yet. point. We're not yet. there yet. No, we gotta, more, we gotta go more. through three, and then we decide. Okay. We're just right. getting your comments on yeah. Skippy. This, the singing was a little off. I think the suck my cock. If that's gonna be in the whoa, whoa. <laughs> 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 I was just looking at your earring. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I thought, I thought uh, for some reason I thought you had the prince symbol on your earring, oh, and no. I was like, "Wow, no, that's pretty dope." It's but an honk, yeah. yeah. Uh, not. But like, if you're gonna do that in the hook and in the uh, the verse, maybe you're compensated for something. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. It's, you know. Fair. That's Lewis. Right. Like I said, I don't like the all, all the electronic stuff on the yeah. singer. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 The auto tunes sure. is out of control. Yeah. It, it is out of control, and, and I've seen it firsthand. With auto tunes, yep. you could take someone that sounds like super mediocre singer like yep. and make them sound like yeah. dope, like oh, they're killing it. You right. know what I'm saying? So like, I, I hear you on that. All one right, let's, more. Let's go to the third one. Okay. Okay. Next up, we got a uh, Riddy K. Riddy R I D D Y K. He's from Bakersfield, California. Bakersfield and the song on the streets of Bakersfield. Dirty with an R D instead of a T. Bet he says something about sucking cock. I bet he does. <laughs> Five on <laughs> The whole song is suck cock. Suck cock. <laughs> Name suck of the song. Suck cock. Suck cock. Yeah. It's dirty. Parentheses <laughs> suck cock. No food without welfare checks. Dirty deeds, no self respect. The perspective's reckless in a place where your life's so hectic. And it's hard to believe any message. Cause they ain't here with you stressing. Living life with a constant question. Like, what the fuck we gon' eat tonight? Where the fuck we gon' sleep tonight? I just wanna know we gon' be alright. But they're looking at me like I'm a complete low life. Trash in a bucket, fuck it. Send me on fire, more heat for the public. Go ahead and treat me like I was going for nothing. Put me on trial when you sit and judge me. Feel my pain first. You the source of my anger. The masochist that I cater. Turn up on the way, but I can't turn back. How can I thrive when it's all pitch black? You can never understand if you ain't live like that. Watch a friend stab another friend in the back, literally. This is the epitome of low down dirt. Down for the mess, we got no answers for the cancer. Reading us alive, even if we try, they just don't help. Seem like the rich when us poor in health. Locked in a cell, they're working in hell at a nine to five that a belly provide enough means to survive. Leave us in death and bleed out the rest. Like life is a contest just to get by. Our haze dirty. Our lives are tainted. All right. I like the concept uh, of that, let's man. Start. I like that. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. You gonna start? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay. Um, I like the the concept of that. I like this uh this whole thing of living this grimy lifestyle and uh, how are we gonna eat? How are we gonna yeah. survive? Right. You know, there's you know actually what it's like being in the dark. Right. You know what I'm exactly. That yeah. right there. Yep. Now right, you I'm got. Now you got that. me hooked. Because we've we've been there. Because we. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like you yeah, automatically we can relate to that. Bro, right. just get the fuck out of my now head, you're, bro. You're talking about like, oh, the diamonds raining and the champagne and, and you know, no, we don't know shit about that. But right. you're talking about lights. Oh, now, out? right. Now you're talking about how are we gonna <laughs> yeah. eat. Yeah. Right. Okay, you know yeah. I mean? Those ramen noodles only go so fucking far. <laughs> right. you know Which, I mean? by the way, I'll never have again, again, and ever in my life. Right. Because I had so many of them <laughs> when we were poor. Right. No don't forget that government yeah. cheese. It's the hey yeah. man, that's the best there cheese you, you could ever have, homie. Oh, I ate uh, it. Trust me. I wish I could still find it. Uh, Anyways, um, no, that right there from that whole deal, man. He they had me hooked with the whole concept. Yeah, right. And I like the flow, and uh, uh, you know that that voice thing though, man. You know everybody doesn't have to do that. Right. You know you don't, don't have, be scary. have to. Yeah. Right. 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 Do but you? What, but what does his real voice sound like? Sure. You know what I'm saying it's true. It's true. It might be kind of like true. plain, so he's got to try to like mix it up a little bit. You know. I got you. Was it just me or did the production quality seem a little lower on that one? I mean, it might have been, but the, it matched the, the, the flavor of what he was yeah, talking right, about. Right, exactly. Right, He's right. broke as go. fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's got no fucking heat and no fucking lights. He sure and he, fucking and he's trying to no find right. something to eat. So, like, if this if shit's a little grimy, that's some of that Wu-Tang shit. There you go. We're right there with that. <laughs> 
It was KG. Oh, KG's back. Hey, hey welcome hey, back. He's got he's a photo back. of him. There's a photo of him. Yeah, look at that cute face to KG oh. right there. Look at that guy. Um, He's not back. No, he's not. No, um, we're just putting a photo up there. <laughs> Keegan, what about you, man? I, honestly, um, I, I'm with you guys. At least, at least it was a different topic, uh, something pretty relatable. I found myself like just listening to it, maybe not even at parts listening to the words, just because I, I like the flow. Yeah. So yeah. just kind of bobbing no to doubt, it a little yeah. bit, which is to me that's a good sign for sure. myself. Um, I, I thought it was pretty dope. I think I've seen the show before. And there's been some clear winners and rounds. I- I'm kind of curious to see what way yeah, this goes. Yeah, they're all good, man. All I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I'm not all saying this to good. gas anyone up, but yeah, it was, yeah. they were pretty all close they're to all me, in good. my opinion. Yeah, yeah, for sure. What about you, Lewis? Definitely. I liked the uh, lyrical content was very good. Yep. And I thought the flow was pretty decent. Like Keegan said, I was yep. bopping my yeah. head. So I found myself wanting to hear the, the outcome of the story. Right. You know? right, 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 right. So that's, that's where that's I know I liked it. That's the other thing. It was a story. Yeah. Right. It's yeah, crazy exactly. pictures in your mind. Yeah, like right. you're, you're, you're fucking there with what he's talking about. Right. Fucking dope, man. That's right. all I'm saying. Dope. Yep. Rob. Loved it. <laughs> Loved it. All right. Let's vote. Let's all right. Vote. So. Uh, no, no, no! I don't want to put you on blast, Nick. Is there a way to just like quickly go through all three again? Just play like just a snippet. I'm like, with you. Like yeah, like ten. You get a lot of high praise in number one. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, and, and and it was so long with six people going around yeah. the table. It like yeah. takes a minute. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Here's some of scribble. Yeah. Go ahead. Try try to get in the 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 court not, not the chorus but the rap. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we can hear it. That's Second great. Second guy, Skippy. <laughs> Skippy. Skippy Yickum. Suck my dick, Skippy. <laughs> Suck my dick. <laughs> oh, Lewis just killed him with that. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. And the last one, Riddy K. Try to get into the rap of it. That's not the rap. That's just still the chorus. I put three different minutes. <laughs> 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 it's still the chorus. There we go. All right, I don't know what's going on there. But okay, <laughs> well, uh, we got to hear the chorus. That's for all right. Sure. We're, uh, okay, nobody say anything. Yep, yep. Clear your minds. Yep. Is KG there? No, nope. nope. All right, so we got five. No, he we can't hear nothing. Didn't hear enough of it. Okay. All right, so we got five ninjas here right now. So there's going to be a definite. If there's a tie, it's not going to be no. Oh, actually, it could be a Ooh. tie still. Because yeah. anyway, Rachel. Gritty. Who's gritty? The dirty. Ritty. Oh, dirty, R- dirty. Ritty. Ritty. <laughs> right. Ritty. Ritty. Okay, one for Ritty. All right, Keegan, we're going to you next. Uh, number two, Skippy. Skippy, Ickham. okay. Yeah. All right, you got. we got one for Skippy, one for Ritty. Uh, Lewis. Ritty. Okay, we got two. All right. Ritty. All right, we got three. Uh, Nick. <laughs> oh, bullshit. <laughs> you said five <laughs> people yeah. at this table. All right, man. man. Hands you down. said five. People, all right, all right fine, table. fine, fine. Hands down, fucking without fucking question, it's very clear in my mind and my opinion. Fucking ready all day. Yeah, there we yes. go. Uh, he's all just right. killing there it. There we man. go. There like we he's go. killing it right yeah. there, man. Dope ass fucking concept of a song. Dope ass fucking lyrics. I love the hook. I'm good with everything on that yeah. song. That guy could very well win this whole thing. I, I, I think so I was too. cool with any of the picks, and but yeah, and you can't and not talking it. about no bullshit. Right, like, right talking right. about some real shit. Like right, you know what I mean? Right. Like like I can relate to shit. Well, a lot of us you juggalos know? can relate to. I mean, I mean, is this a homie of mine? I don't even know about. <laughs> like you know, what I'm saying I grew up with you yeah. or what, man? Like you know what I'm saying? Like I'm just saying. I liked it. I liked it, I liked a, lot. it a lot. All right, right so we let's move go. On to let's the go. Next to, round. Let's go to one. Uh, one quick video break, and let's when we get it. back, we'll do the next round. Just one. Uh, one do video. it. One quick video break. One Coming quick, but, up, but all three of them 
were dope though. No, they real. were all good. They were all. They were all good. They were all good. Like that's what I like. You know. You know. You know. Actually, what, what, what we actually the, dug a little deep, and we got to the fucking right. the super. And, and, you, and you know, and, and I, I, I want to remind those who have submitted um, their tracks, man. You know, we're 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 entertaining each other. We're entertaining people. We're not trying to hurt nobody's feelings or break. I don't anybody think anybody down. got hurt because they're all fucking serious. Yeah. Well, yeah, I don't yeah, know about that first guy. I no, I like that first guy. Like, I'm, yeah, guy. like yeah. I'm just saying, they're yep. all good talent. Yeah, some dope ass shit. Get up, right. uh, move yeah. on to the concept of getting your dick sucked on. That's all. <laughs> right, please. we get it. You like it, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. We are here right now, Juggalo Show. Waiting for the video. <laughs> Waiting for the video. Oh, yeah, we are back once again on the Juggalo Show. There was uh, Ouija, who is going to be a um, uh, guest next week on the Sex Files with my homie. Yes. Hello. Who? Who's that? (laughs) 
My one and oh, only shit, homie, man. man. You talking about me? Yes. Shit, I, I was like, what was he talking about? I mean, uh, there's only one <laughs> creep. There's only one. I'm talking about the one and only Keegan in the house. Rudy, I love you, brother. I do. love you more, homie. I really do. But I'll put five on that. You're wrong. No, that's not. <laughs> well, I don't know. You do. You are a Pittsburgh fan. I don't hey, know. I do. Hey, with them a love. <laughs> uh, no, that's right. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the next competitor. We have seven finalists now. Yes. We're going to listen to three more. These oh. are the last three. This is it. The last three that have a chance to, to, to make it into the semifinals. This is it. Open your ears. That's right. And the last three were all bangers. So hopefully, it's we, true. Got, hopefully we got more bangers. Right. <laughs> right. It wasn't oh. like oh, last, We're, we're going to be going one. in the magic bag again. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. What well, we right. got, Nick? Next up, we got Mr. Toxic from Charlotte, North Carolina. And the track is called Something in the Wind. What what was the name of that that group? Uh, something Blowing in the wind. Something. Something, I got something, something in, the wind. in the wind. But what's the name of the group? Oh, Mr. Toxic. Mr. To- Toxic. That was uh. Okay, I don't want to start. Mark, I do. <laughs> no, no, no. Hold on. Let's, let's <laughs> let somebody else. <laughs> He's ready. Let's let let's let somebody else start this time. I am marked out for the Nightmare Before Christmas sample. If anybody else is a fan of that, but the rapping wasn't necessarily all there. Okay. I, did, I didn't. Is that the little girl that was singing it? Yeah. See, yeah. that's the only thing yeah. that I got out of that song. Right. The rest, <laughs> like, I'm yeah, with Rachel yeah, on that. Yeah. Nah, I'm okay. straight with mm-hmm. the the other stuff. Uh, Keegan, what do you? Yeah. Um, I, I would agree with that. And then, uh, to the sense, I I I kind of like certain parts of his flow, but the voice, to me, I felt mm-hmm. was a little forced. And I think that was a topic we all mm-hmm. cover, like the kind of forced to be scary type thing, and just be but natural. Yeah, yeah, just, just be yeah, natural. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, one one thing I got about that song, it was uh, <coughs> it was a straight up like love song, right? There was mm-hmm. like it was very pure, like very pure and clean mm-hmm. love song. Like, right. Yeah. It was there was nothing going on in yeah. there. There was no like s- really really a story. It was more just like straight up. He loves his girl and he wants yeah. to be with that girl type thing. Right. But in the scary um, voice though. Right, right. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, the force kind of bogger now. Reminds me of the girl from Die Antwerp. Right. Yeah, like right. uh, Yolandi Vasa. Yep, Yolandi. <laughs> so be, because it was a straight like love song, it, it was just kind of like throwing me a little bit, like where I was like, you know, waiting for something to happen in the song and it never did. So it was like it wasn't grabbing my attention as hard as I would like. But the flow was was interesting. But yeah, I, I, I'm gonna have to say a little bit off it at times maybe. Um, but yeah, it, again. Uh, something that a studio engineer could have picked up on and like, hey, you need to redo that take. Right. You know what I mean? Right. To tighten that up, right. and then it would have been fine because his flow wasn't that. It was plus it was the flow. Good. I I, yeah. I got confused because I didn't know when the uh, the chorus. The came chorus in. sounded very similar to the actual to the flow. Yeah, to to the yeah. actual uh, the rest of it because uh, yeah, I got that as well. So yeah, it's re- kind of a strange song overall. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lewis, you got anything? Just. What I said about it oh, sounded okay. like Diane word. Yeah. Oh, I right. got you. I got you. The rest of the song Short really and sweet. Get me, yeah. All right. Okay, cool. Let's go to the next one. Next up from Kalamazoo, Michigan is Checkmate. 
and the track is called The Studio. Yeah, I picked up on that too. Let's get it. In the studio. Yeah, I tend to drift away. Off in my own world, rock and ease on my pain. It's my sanctuary to escape from reality and actually face all the demons I'm battling. Things I used to care about so passionately. Can you turn it up a little bit? What happened to me? I was an average MC back in 2003. I practiced for hours every day. No pad in the beat. Dreaming. Being where I'm at today, but I'm still not happy. It's sad to say I need to step back, remind myself to be grateful. All my supporters and fans that I have, I thank you, thank you for all that you've done. As I stand behind this mic, as the man I become, my heart thumps to the beat of the drum. My ink is my blood. Rush, let them know I think this is all that I love. Cause I give in all of me till I find some rest. I want to hear and see if the next verse is a different rapper. In the studio, I'm giving every hour, every day that I've had to the lab with the pen and the pad and the blood in the bag, and I don't mean to brag. No. Clearly, a metaphor when What's I that? that? I, I think it is. The studio. Every day I'm waking up to a knock on that metal dough. Wake Rolling out of right. bed, another session. Here we go, because I got to get the dough and this money on the floor. Yeah, I wonder if that's like multiple rappers on that track. Yeah, like, right. you know, I mean, it's supposed to be Checkmate, but he, he was talking about Trey Pounds. So who was that in the beginning? Yeah, yeah. Like who was that actually rapping at the very start of the song? You know what I mean? I liked it. Uh, it reminded me of some like LL Cool J or something from way back yeah. in the day. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, you know, like it, the, it, it reminded me totally of conscious Rob, rap. You it, know what I'm it, saying? It reminded me totally of what we've been just saying. Someone not forcing yeah, he was just he's flowing. Not, yeah, he was he wasn't right. coming out there doing anything and everything. Right, since two thousand. Yeah, it is. Fr- it, it, at the it time you hear this, it's refreshing because you're like, oh, so finally something different. And yeah. and and the topic, if you listen to it, the topic of being, um, being in that studio yep. and giving your all for all that time, I can relate to that, man. Yeah, no, no doubt. He's been doing it since two thousand and three. He said. That's a long time. Yeah, it is, man. <laughs> it is. You know. It sure the hell is. Yeah. Keep up that dream, man. Mm-hmm. Kalamazoo uh, in the house. Another very strange song. Like, the, the both of these have been very kind of strange, different right, kind of songs. Right, right, right. Yeah. Very different. I and did like it because he was telling a story. That's why I liked it. It was actually right. telling a story. See, yeah. I, I, I liked it, but the, the only knock I guess I would really put on it is – I, I, you could tell he's trying to be more serious, but I, I feel like I can see him just reading off the paper, if that makes sense. Uh, like yeah. I feel like there should have been a little more emotion behind it, okay. if that makes sense. Sure, yeah. But yeah. Uh, but other than that, I thought it was pretty solid, you know? Rachel? There's a feeling to that song that stays with you. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm very somber. Yeah. So I, I like that because there's feeling there. Yep. Uh, is it is it something to bump at the gathering? I'm not sure. Is, is it possible to jump to the third, yeah. the third verse on there or no? I just want to I, I want to know if this is the same guy. The right. Song. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I, I'm almost wondering if that was Trey Pound who was killing herself doing a voice, you know. <laughs> this is with a minute left of the track, so it's got to be the last one. when I say that I live at the studio. Every day I'm waking up to a knock on that metal door. Might be the same. Be the same. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's go to the next one. I liked it. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. Yep. Um, it's different. I wonder what the rest of this album sounds like, the rest of yeah. the songs. That's what I want to know. There's a, there's a weird choice coming with that as his first track. Right. The next one up, we got Fat C. The from next and <laughs> final one. Oh, yeah. From St. Paul, Minnesota. Fat C with t- Touch It. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. He's getting his dick sucked. Get your bets in now. <laughs> Get them in. Put money on the table. What do we got? <laughs> All right. Very attractive. Fat C. Mm. 
He's got that fat Could seat. be ta talking about touch his heart. You don't know. Sister and cousin. Everything but a blowjob. Keep that in mind. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> or he's coming. <laughs> oh, buzzing. Donkey's even. Damn. There, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. But with what? <laughs> Got a well, at least pickle. we know number two won tonight. Yeah. So that's, <laughs> that's a cool thing. <laughs> right. Kalamazoo up in this bitch. <laughs> I, bonus points for not, I didn't hear the blowjob part yeah, first yeah, one yeah. Either, yeah. he did every he talked about donkeys he fucking went that's and, cause we didn't go into the whole song that's really. very two true two girls and that's one it. cup oh yeah that's and who lot. doesn't love a good two girl one cup My and how goodness. how old is that phrase or that right. deal <laughs> I, yeah I remember seeing that Timeless. when I was like eight years old <laughs> that explains a that's lot that's where I'm that's why I'm <laughs> sitting at this table right now that explains <laughs> Explains right. a lot. <laughs> all right, all right. So who do we got? Uh, let's start with Lewis. I who? like the the music and everything. Lyrics gotta go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fat C. Okay. I yeah. I wasn't really. I wasn't really feeling this track at all. <laughs> um. It, it, the penis. Like I don't know. It makes me show. You weren't feeling the, the penis, yeah. Rob. The word, you weren't feeling it. The word penis just makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> right. I couldn't really. I couldn't really see singing along to it in your yeah. car. You're penis. Just like, eh, yeah. Touch the penis. You know. You're just bobbing your head. No. <laughs> Rob will not pass. be doing a cover of this I'm song. A, We're just going to spoilers alert. I'm yeah. going to take the pass option on okay. that. All right. All right. So I'm going to say no. It was it was okay, though. The yeah. flow was all right. It wasn't bad. Just no. It was terrible. It wasn't bad. <laughs> it was fucking we, terrible. Me and Rachel were doing Night of the Rock, Barry. We was, were fucking it, getting down, It was man. cool in 93 with that beat. <laughs> Come yeah. on, man. Definitely not at the Roxbury. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, my God. I liked it. It was funny. Right, let's, <laughs> okay, let's vote. Let's just move ahead. Yep. Let's Touch just move my ahead. penis. Oh, no. Feeling <laughs> Oh, no. Dope. Okay. Keegan, who I'm, are you voting for? Well, I'm getting that song on iTunes, but I'm going to be voting <laughs> for number two. Number Checkmate. two. Checkmate. Checkmate. Kalamazoo guy. I'm also going to vote for number two. Checkmate. Ditto. Um, Yes. I, I, I got number two here, too. Right. Checkmate. We got to right take here. it, too. Right. Checkmate. Checkmate. Checkmate moves on. Checkmate moves on. He's checkmating the whole competition. Checkmating the whole competition. Hey, listen, Juggalos, we'd like to thank you guys for joining us tonight right here on this very special edition of the Juggalo Show. Now, check this out. Like we do at each and every one of our shows, we give all of our panelists uh, last words. And we're going to go ahead and throw it to you, Lewis, tonight for your final words to the Juggalos of the world, homie. I'd just like to say thank you for all the fam that stuck around and made the con what it was. You're all beautiful people. And like I said, I finally understand family. I finally understand it. I get it now. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. everybody. Thank you so much. Yep. Rachel Paul. Same thing with Lewis. Thank you to everyone that put their hearts and souls into DCG Con and let's increase the peace, people. We got to stay positive and full of love and let's keep this carnival going. The show must go on. DJ Carlito. Yeah, uh, you can catch me on CRB Radio tomorrow. Damn uh, right. Cruising the Barrio. Yeah, baby. From uh, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Uh, it's West Coast. Or West, West Coast, sorry. <laughs> Uh, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And, uh, yeah, just whoop whoop to all the ninjas of the world. Uh, keep representing. I'll keep representing you. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Keegan. Yeah, I just want to say uh, what a what a magical event this turned out to be when all the chips were down. Uh, a lot of jugglers show their true colors and turn something super stale into something amazing, which is 
what the scene has always been about, at least since I was a kid getting into it. Um, I just want to go along with you, Rachel, there. And something needs to be done. We all need to step up and make sure that we protect this scene because there's nothing like it. we got to take care of one another. And I want to just get my hashtag going as uh, hashtag peace beneath the streets, man. We, we own the underground, and we can really grow this into something even bigger. Yeah, and catch me next week at the Sex Files with Ouija uh-huh. and porn star right. Mallory Maneater. Hell yeah. Damn yeah. right, damn right. I'm going to go first and then you can okay, go. Is go, that yeah, cool? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, uh, definitely a shout out to all the Juggalos. Definitely a shout out to all the Juggalos um, on that mini tour that we went on. Uh, the Great Malenko sold out every fucking single night. I forgot about how the magic works. And uh, me being back out there on the road. It, re- it recharged my batteries, man, and I loved it. And um, uh, much love to uh, Joe and Joey's uh, uh, Insane Clown Posse for allowing me to be out there and being a part of that magic again. Much love to my homie Billy Bill doing the damn thing. But um, very big shout-out and very big um, ups to uh, two people sitting at this table right here, uh, Rachel Paul and uh, – yeah. uh, Rob, Bruce, Jump Steady, I mean, look, you guys went above and beyond to make that thing happen, man, and uh, it happened. Yeah. It happened. They, yep. they, they, they couldn't stop it, man, and it happened. And uh, I just I tip my hat to you guys for all your hard work and oh, dedication to that. And if that dcg con is any indication of what the 19th annual gathering of the juggalos <laughs> is gonna be right. damn it you better get your motherfucking ticket now because Oops, it's going down baby Oops. july Oops, 18th Oops, uh, all the way i appreciate the 21st yeah. i appreciate the words uh rudy for sure and, and what a what a perfect theme whoop stock yeah because it's all about peace yep. and fucking hopefully right. love peace and, and clown uh, love. Yep. yeah we just hope that uh that that ninjas follow through you know what i'm saying and they dial it back because um you know we the last thing we want to do is escalate and, and the whole juggle scene turn into something fucking ugly or something because it doesn't need yeah. to be that um i want to thank everybody Again, I've said this before, but, you know, like we're, we're here for a really short time on the, on the planet Earth, you know, and I feel so blessed to be able to share my life with all y'all, you know, yeah. what I'm saying daily uh, coming to all the events, all our family reunions, if you will, uh, being able to share my life with all y'all. It's such a fucking blessing to me to be able to be blessed in that way and, and to spend my time on this earth with y'all. And uh, mad love and respect to everybody out here listening to the radio show. Mad sp- love and respect to everybody out there in the juggle of the world. We're going to keep doing what we do, which is provide the entertainment and the foundation for ninjas to gather. And you all keep coming out, man, and fucking, uh, you know, just sharing our sharing that time with us, man. And, um, and that's all I got to say, man. Mad love and respect to everybody. Juggalos, we're not here for a long time. We're here for a good time. Amen. Be good Woo! to one another. Take care of one another. God bless you all. We will see you in two weeks. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, whoop, whoop. Yeah. Some of us next week. All right. <laughs> That's right. Hell <laughs> oh, yeah. No matter what they say, words can't cut me down. Indestructible in every single way. They can't take me out. So, fuck off! I'm still around.
disaster after indestructible no matter what they say words can't cut me down indestructible in every single way hate can't take me Thank <laughs> you. 